Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. I hope my voice coming good and clear. Please invite your friends. And as you see, like like YouTube uh, is not really sending notification. Maybe they are doing it on purpose. I'm not sure, but it doesn't sound normal. So please share the link. Invite your friends. Uh, we have a Muslim actually. He texted me many times, um, and he is so desperate. And he, he said to me, he want to expose me. Um, so I'm texting him now. So he will call. We will not waste time, you know. The guy is dying to expose me. So we will not really let him uh, wait for long. Uh, call us, uh, please, Mr. Muslim. He called himself Muslim Prince. I am not the only Christian Prince. They have Muslim Prince too. I mean, we have to face it. Let us see. We are texting him. All right, we, we will wait for him. Supposedly he was so excited. I hope he don't have a flat tire now. Uh, but uh, he, he said he will expose me and obviously he is very strong. And you know, uh, Muslims are very strong, very strong. Uh, is the voice coming good, guys? Because I have the fan on, I hope it's not making noise. Is the fan causing any noise in the microphone? Let me know, please, if uh, if the uh, microphone is fine. You know, if you see, if you look at the title of the video, regardless of this guy who wanna call us, supposedly, uh, we are talking about the Quran uh, causing to be caused to be forgotten. So look at this idea, and just to make it simple for you, until this guy he called us who is very excited. I am not the one saying the Quran is forgotten, the Quran is saying that. According to the Quran, Allah He do two things to His book. He abrogate and He cause people to forget it. Okay. But not necessarily what He abrogate, He cause you to forget it. He abrogate or cause people to forget. It. Now think about this wise God. He sent Quran to guide us, and then after He sent us the guidance, He caused us to forget the guidance. Anybody understand what I'm saying? There is a God, His name is Allah. He sent you a book, and then the book is sent for guidance, and then after He sent you the guidance, He caused you to forget the guidance. I mean, obviously, this is a top of wisdom. Do we have any Muslim to explain to us how in the world can this is, can be true? Hello? Brother and sister, Allah, he sent us a book, it called the Quran. And it is the book of guide myth. And then Allah, he called us to forget the Quran. Uh, brother, so how Allah sent the Quran to guide us and then he will cause us to forget the Quran, the guidance, which is the Quran. Allah is all notable. No, no, no what? Notable. Uh, he is notable. Okay. But what does have to do with the question? Allah, he sent us a book to guide us. Why he will cause us to forget the book? Brother and sister, first of all, Christian Prince is a liar. My friend, he's a liar or not. That won't change anything. Hello? 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 Yes, Mr. Muslim Prince, how are you? <laughs> Hello, Christian Prince. Uh, I wanted, I have one doubt. Two, three doubts. You have what? About, I have two, three doubts about Christianity. Can you explain me? You have a three doubt? Why, why not 100? Are you uh, are you the same as uh, are, you, are you are you are you are you are you are you a Trinity Muslim because your prophet when he say Salam alaikum he say it three times when he do do he do it three times when he do anything he say when he say when he say this guy won the debate he say it three times so now you have a three doubt about Christianity I mean why three why not four <laughs> um, Francis Fran uh, sorry no 
Mount Francis. Sorry, Christian Prince. Listen. Mm. Uh, I, I want to have one doubt, please. Uh, two, two doubts, mm. mainly two doubts. The mm. one is New Testament. So what happened now? It, is, it, it, uh, it was a three. Why you make it two? Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes. Third doubt is also there, but but no. yeah, these are the main two doubts. Please, please, please. please. Mm. Yeah, listen to me. So, but but you, you don't want to talk uh, about our topic. You don't want to talk about our topic because our topic is very interesting too. We can talk about your topic, no problem. But I have in front of me a verse from the yeah. Quran saying that Allah will cause you to forget the Quran, and I don't understand really because as like you are a Muslim prince, obviously you high authority, like you know what you are talking about. So why Allah will send me the Quran and then He will cause me to forget the Quran? Topic, please. We are discussing your topic, my friend. Here we go. Allah, He sent the Bible, and now He forgot the whole Bible. This is what we are talking about. Where is the Bible? It's gone. Do you have the Bible? You don't have the Bible. I mean, what kind of God? What what kind what kind of God your God is? You Muslim, you claim there's no Bible no more. Okay, isn't it the Bible sent by Allah? Okay, so Allah sent the Bible, and then He caused us to forget the Bible. I'm asking you, we're on the topic. <laughs> you know, what kind of God? He sent the Bible, and He make it forget the Bible. Why he did that? Uh, CP. What CP? I want an answer, my friend. Here we go. You call me and you were, you were excited. To, you were excited to expose me. And here we go. We have. We are talking about the Bible. Forget about the Quran, brother. Allah, he sent the Torah, brother. A brother, a brother. Allah, he sent the Torah. Allah, he sent the Torah. Okay, Allah. And then Allah caused us to forget the Torah. Why? Explain to me. I'm listening to you. <laughs> What a stupid religion! What's wrong with you? Why? Why you are scared to answer? I mean, you are the Muslim. I'm asking you. I don't, 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 don't answer me. Just explain yourself as a Muslim. How you can believe in such a madness? So Allah He sent the book, and then Allah will make you forget the book, and then Allah will accuse you of corrupting the book, which He caused you to forget it. I mean, explain to me. I can. I'm really going crazy here, brother. I didn't understand your doubt. Okay, let me explain it to you more. Who is the one who sent the Torah? <clears throat> Allah. Okay. Where is the Torah? Uh, like, what do you mean? Well, oh, okay. See, uh, it, it, it did exist in an uncorrupted form. Well, no, no, where, 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 where is that? No, no, my friend, don't, don't tell me it exists. Where it exists, do you have it? No. Okay, so Allah, did, Allah cause, did Allah cause you Muslim to forget the Torah? Forget it. So where uh, it is? It was it was distorted. If 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 if. So Allah, He okay. Isn't it the Quran says nothing but happen by the will of Allah? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. So that, like but that's Allah mean. Allah okay. Is, so the, so. Uh, Islam the, also teaches us that Allah is all just. Since okay. Allah is all just. Hmm. Like divine will and human will isn't like sync. Like I mean, uh, you have you have both wills in sync. Like. Allah doesn't force things to do, but everything that exists is, is like it is within the subset of God's will. Mm, well, this is not what the Quran is saying. This is your own fiction. You know, look like you are watching too much cartoon because the Quran says that Allah. Oh, here we go. The Quran. You see, our judge is the Quran, not your cartoon. You know, you are watching Mickey Mouse. This is the Quran saying that Allah He entrusted the Jews to protect the Torah. So what Allah he did, read the Quran, chapter 5, verse number 44. CCP, CCP, CCP. CCP, do you want to discuss Kamal Yudin? Uh, you know, this is, this is more, my friend, trust me, this Quran is, is smell more than Kamal Yudin. This is stink. Don't change the topic. What kind of God? He sent the Torah. And then he says, I trust you to protect the Torah, which means he want to protect the Torah. And then the Torah is gone. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Where, where does it say, where does it say... God trusted to protect the Torah. Chapter five, verse number forty-four. Chap, wait, let me open chapter five, verse number forty-four. Hmm. Verse number forty-four. Hmm. Uh, okay, uh, it doesn't say Allah will protect it. It says there, for it, it for for to them, it was entrusted the protection of Allah book no, no, no. To, in my translation it says indeed we send down the Torah in which was was mm. guidance and light mm. the prophets who submitted 
to God judged by it for the Jews. Mm -hmm. For the Jews, as the rabbis and scholar, by that which they were interested of the scripture of Allah. Thank, thank you. You just, said, you, you just said exactly what I said. They're entrusted to the book of Allah. <laughs> so Allah, he trusts the rabbi <laughs> to, to protect his book. Does it say that? You just read that. It doesn't say protect his book. It says there was entrusted entrusted in, yes Intru guided, no it says no 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 hold on hold on be must have for be must have for which mean in what they order to keep to protect or stuff do so when i do that for the shay it's mean i protect it i keep it i will never let it go destroy so allah he is the one who is saying he entrusted the Jews, what Jews, the rabbi specifically, and the prophets, to do what? To protect the Torah. That's what the verse is saying. You can open any interpretation you want. Uh, just give, give me one second. Give me 20 seconds. No problem. Uh, I will give you 20 when, years. When will you clarify my doubt? Huh? I have one doubt. I have some doubts. Uh, when, when, when do you think you can clarify them? What, what? I have some doubts about Christianity. Some my friend, you are a Muslim. What doubt about Christianity? I am, my, see, my, my, see, my see, name is Dekanaik. Doubt, you are a Muslim. So you don't say I have some doubt about Christianity. Either you believe in Christianity or you are a Muslim. Are you a Muslim or a Christian? Uh, I have, I have, I have, I have a question regarding Christianity. Are you a Muslim or a, are you a Muslim or a Christian? I'm a Muslim. Okay, so what you are saying, I have a doubt about Christianity. This is this is a very very uh, an untruthful statement because we this is something. No, no, this is a statement. Somebody will say if he is a Christian, I have a doubt about my faith. But you don't say to somebody else, you don't believe in anyway. About I have doubt about it. This is this is silly from you to say. Speak as an adult, please. So don't share the topic now. What kind of God? He sent the Torah to the Jews, and he entrusted the Jews to protect the Torah, and then Allah. He confirmed that nobody can destroy his word and nobody can exchange his word. And then Allah is saying in the Quran in different verse that Allah will cause even Muslims to forget the Quran and to forget the Torah and to forget his words. Does it say that or I'm lying? Uh, just just give, give me one minute. Uh, hmm. Surah 544. Did you just check, let me check something. Hmm, check something. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, give me 20 seconds. 544, 544. We'll give you 20 years, no problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> as long as we have a camera urine, I mean, who cares? We have all the time. Camera urine is the best. Forget about the rest. In, in your Instagram bio, it says that you're a scholar, okay? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a schooling you immediately. Like, no, I'm, 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 I'm schooling you every day. Have you ever seen a Muslim calling me? He didn't get busted. No, 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 no. no. So, sorry, sorry, CP again, again, <laughs> CP. Can you name me? I'll ask you a quick question. You, you no, I cannot name you. I can, I cannot name you. I cannot name you because the only scholar I know, the only teacher, I, the only, the, the only teacher, the only teacher I have, the only teacher I have is Zakir Naik. Anything you want about Zakir Naik, I, I will answer you. Anything else, I don't know. Now, don't change the topic. You are being a kid now. You are trying to escape the stupidity of your God. What kind of God? He sent the book and he caused you to forget the book. Look at barely view the Torah. Where is it? Okay, so. So what happened? Allah He entrusted the Jews to protect the book. Was Allah wrong in His trust? Did He trust the wrong one? When I say to you. I trust you. What does that mean? Explain to me. What the word trust mean in your language, in your understanding, in your knowledge? In the case of the people, I'm sorry. Hmm. See, but you're not answering a single question that I've asked. You did not ask me any question, and you are changing the topic, and you are playing a kid like a kid. You, okay, you know, I'll, in, I'll, in the mo I'll in the morning, in the. When you text me in the morning, you were so excited. Okay. I'm going to expose you. I'm going to get you busted. I'm... And now he will go. You are calling me. Suddenly you became a potato. 
my friend my friend why you don't want to say to us what kind of god are you ashamed this god he sent the book he trusts the jews what did he did he did he did he do did he Musa ibn Amra. Listen, hello. Uh. Yeah, where really we reveal to the to, to the Torah, the ISS, mm. uh, like it means we reveal the Torah to Musa alayhi salam. Mus Musa, Christ, Musa, who you said you said you said Musa. Hold on, like, hold on. You, you said you said Musa. You said you said you said. No, no, no. You said something. I heard the word. Uh, I I heard the word. I want to be sure you said that. You said Musa ibn Imran, correct? Yeah. Okay. So Musa, guys, is ibn Imran. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. The chapter of Al Imran. Chapter in the Quran. It's called chapter of Al Imran. Is yes, that correct? Don't change the topic. Now. I'm not changing the topic. I'm not changing the topic. I'm not. I'm not changing the topic. I'm not changing the topic. I am not. Trust me, I am not. How in the world that Mary, her father, his name is Imran, and Musa's, his father is Imran, and the brother of Musa's, he is the brother of Mary. So here we go. Moses is the son of Amran. Harun is the son of Amran. Maryam, Maryam is the son of Amran. So according to your stupid Quran, Moses is the uncle of Jesus. This is why I say to you, you are the one who said, guys, did, did he say, did he say, did, did, he, did, he, did he say, did he say, Muhammad, Muhammad Hijab, we got him busted. He's a stupid, he's a coward. He don't even dare to debate me. You start playing videos and hang uh, up on me. He's a coward. Uh, sorry, He's sorry. Like, uh, see, be listen to me. Listen mm. to me. Listen to me. You will not. What kind okay. of a prophet? What kind of a prophet? He say that Musa ibn Umran okay. and Mary okay. ibn, ibn, ibn to Umran. How Musa you know, and Umran they became they became. Be, be, <laughs> okay, go ahead. Please. <laughs> okay. okay. It says verily we reveal the Torah. It means like. We reveal like God revealed Torah to mm. Musa alayhi salam. Mm. Then the next uh, what is in which was guidance in the past in the past tense. Mm. It means like as it guided people to faith and truth and protected against and protected people against mm. falsehood and misguidance. Mm. And then it says and light guidance and light. Mm. It means like what the, the word and what, light what verse you are reading? What verse? What, what, what verse you are reading? Illuminate the dark. What what verse you are reading? Confusion. What verse you are reading? A surah five forty. Surah 5, verse what? 44. 44. Okay, go ahead. Read it for us. Can you read it for us? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Verily we reveal the Torah in which was guidance and light. Uh, hmm. And then it says, uh, like, the prophets who submitted uh, judged by it for the Jews. Hmm. I'll, I'll explain it word by word, yeah. Now it says, and light, and guidance and light. It means, like, Torah had... <coughs> Torah uh, originally that was revealed to Musa alayhi salam had mm. light to illuminate the darkness of confusion, mm. specious arguments, wicked desires, etc., etc. Mm. And now it says, uh, like, it says, uh, the prophets who submitted judged by it for the Jews. Yes, mm. it was like a law for the Jews, of mm. course. Mm. Uh, like in, in cases of dispute, questions, and and uh, fiqhi rulings, in this case, uh, like uh, basically the the prophets followed the teaching of the Torah, and then uh, like as did the rabbis and the scholars. That is, the religious leaders of the Jews mm. ruled on the basis of the Torah. The word translated here as rabbis, like I mean, refers to knowledgeable people mm. who act upon their knowledge and teach others in the best way and mm. they follow the path of the compassionate prophets in their dealings with the people hmm. what, what, the word translated here as but, scholars refers but, to but where, where is, scholars, i mean you are, you are you are talking too much you are saying nothing my friend i want to answer did allah trusted the rabbi in the protection of the torah yes or no uh did did allah entrust the no no not not in a sense that torah will be preserved after handing it to the rabbis in that sense no. okay a guy is not in the sense that the rabbi will preserve it so who is the one who should preserve it you are the one who said that remember not me guys not in the sense was, hold on you are, the, you are the one who said no, listen, listen 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 let me finish you are the one who just said it is not the rabbi who they are interested to protect the torah so who is the one supposed to protect it Ah uh, no 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 no! I didn't say they are not interested to protect the Torah. I said that the ayah doesn't mean that 
the rabbis are going to necessarily protect it in the future. That's what I said. Okay, so what does it mean? When you say entrusted, that means he, he trusted them, correct? Okay, it, it means that the religious leaders of the Jews, mm -hmm. uh, like the knowledgeable people, uh -huh. they... Uh, they acted according to the Torah. They they uh, they Fo follow the path. Focus the path on the trust thing, my friend. Stop playing games. Focus on the trust. Allah did He trust the Jews to protect the Torah? Did He or did not? No. Okay. Who is the one in charge no. of protecting the Torah then? Okay. It doesn't say. And in my translation, it doesn't say. Uh, don't tell me. I, I, I don't care. I'm asking you. Who is the one supposedly will will protect the Torah? If not, the Jews are supposed to protect it according to your understanding. I'm going with you. No problem. Who is the one should uh, protect okay, the book of Allah? My, according to my understanding, hmm. uh, Torah was supposed supposed to be corrupted. It, it, it was going to happen. Hmm. It so why inevitable. why is supposed? Is that, is that is, is that Allah decision? He wanted to be corrupted. What do you mean supposed to be corrupted? Oh, okay, okay. I'll tell you mm. what. What I mean by it was supposed to be corrected is that it is, it is, uh, it is the father of Allah. Uh -huh. That doesn't mean Allah forced it to happen, but, okay. but it means that it was within Allah's will. All right, guys. Allah, He made the fate for the Quran, the fate, the destiny. Correct, the destiny of the Torah to be corrupted. Correct. What? The what? The destiny. Destiny. You just said Qadar. Qadar means the destiny. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, so guys, yeah, 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 yeah. Mr. Muslim Prince, he said that it was Allah's decision, his decision, that the destiny of the Torah to be corrupted. That's mean Allah is the shaitan. Because if is the, the who is the one who who is the one who corrupt? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Who is the one who will get the benefit? Hold on. Who is the one who will get the benefit from corrupting the book of Allah? You tell me. Give me an answer. from uh, corrupting the book of Allah hmm. who firstly firstly before I answer this I I don't, no don't tell me first and secondly no 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 it's, the answer is simple who is the one let us say that they assume that Allah is God we assume for the sake of argument who is the one would get the benefit of corrupting the book of God who is the one get the benefit I will name for you three people uh, I will name for you three people, people uh, hold on I will, I will name for you three people Muhammad Jibreel or Shaitan which one you choose None. None. So Shaitan will not get the benefit of corrupting the book of Allah. Shaitan will just mislead people. I will not. Okay, but isn't it? <laughs> isn't it? Is it like okay, but isn't it? But isn't it corrupting the book of Allah is the biggest misleading ever? I mean, this is how smart you are. You just say Shaitan, he want to mislead you, but corrupting a book is going to mislead people. Don't you agree? Hey, hey, Francis, CCP, CCP, CCP. <laughs> he keep calling me Don't Francis. Somebody told him my name is Francis. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. No, no, no. Who is the one will get? This is the book of no, Allah. No, this, is not, this is not. This is this is not. We are. Hinduism. We are not. No, 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 no. You see, no, that, that, that's no, that, 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 no, that's that's stupid. Of, that is a stupid of you. That is a stupid of you to say because God created the people. He did not make them Hindu. We don't believe in this in Christianity. We don't believe in faith like you. But you are the one who just said to me, "This is your belief, not our belief." It's you, according to you. Allah, He made the Hindu Hindus. Allah, He made the Christian Christians. Allah, He made the Jews Jews. This no, is. Made doesn't mean like He forced them. He no, He forced them. Like okay, let me. Okay. Are you saying. Okay, Muslim Prince, are you saying. Are you saying your, your prophet is a liar? <clears throat> no. Okay. CP, what, what kind of work will make a man. When Adam, he commit a sin. Did he commit a sin because of his choice or because Allah forced him? It was because of Allah's choice and Adam's choice in sync. What do you mean? It was both, both the wills, both, both. It was Adam's free will and God's free will. Like, sorry, not God's free will, but God's well, will as well. Obviously, both. obviously, okay, both. okay, thank you. Obviously, that's mean your prophet is a liar. Because here we go, your prophet in Sahih al Bukhari, hold on. In Sahih al Bukhari, I'm putting it in the screen, he can watch it. It says that Musa, he accused Adam that because of you, we are out of heaven. Okay, Musa is accusing Adam. So Adam, he said to him, are you blaming me for an action which I must commit? For Allah, he read it for me in my faith. 40 years before my creation, I have to commit. It's a must to commit. So 
You said to me, you did lie to us saying that this is the free will of Adam and the decision of Allah. That's a big fat lie. And your prophet, he exposed you. So either you are lying to me or Muhammad is lying to me. Which one is a liar between you? Your misinterpretation of my hadith is my friend. Liar. No, so my, my friend, don't say, don't, don't say, Mr. Don't tell me misinterpretation. The hate in front of us, you are more than welcome to read it and take your time to explain it. What do you say? Are you are you willing to explain it to us? And then everybody will see that you are fabricating answers, have nothing to do with what happened are you willing to read it uh, or you are not willing to read it <clears throat> cp listen we i think we have spent enough time discussing your doubt no I no no we are not uh, we did not get the answer time yet time no, time my time friend time. we have to get the answer please, we get no please, answer please, yet please, 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 don't force please, me to hang up on you you promised me you would expose me either you get me busted right now or you have nothing to say you just say you just say it a big fat lie you just expose you just insulted your prophet that he's a big fat liar because your prophet saying that adam must commit sin it's a fate uh, everybody here has heard us that i have explicitly said that it was your misinterpretation that okay then you have okay no problem guys it is my misinterpretation so why you want to read what your prophet said and then we will see if it's my misinterpretation okay, okay, okay i'll answer you listen uh, according to islam we have free will that is explicit and according to islam there are texts like not even a leaf falls except by Allah's permission. So to reconcile both texts, hmm. what we say. Is okay, that can you show me? Can you can you show me? Can you show me one statement of your prophet about a free will? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Just hmm. give me ten seconds here. Yeah? Okay. Sure. Hmm. Uh, I'll show you either from the Quran or the Sunnah. I can't say that my prophet will say, but yes, hmm. inshallah, from Quran or Sunnah. Okay. Also. So why? Okay, I have it in front of you in front of you my friend it says it clearly that adam he commits sin for it was a decree from allah are you accusing your prophet to be a liar does it say it's a decree from allah does it say that he must commit does it say he have no choice but to do does it say that you are you blaming me are you blaming me for what is written for me before i was created for a sin i have to commit it's in the front of you, man. Stop being a stubborn. Can't you? Can't you be? Can't you be honest? Can't you be honest? Can't you be honest? Hmm. The debate is what? Do you blame me or you don't blame me? You're a prophet. He took the side of Adam that we cannot blame Adam for the sin he committed. It's very clear. Even your prophet said so. Uh, so uh, Adam confuted Adam. Musa. Do you have any plans of debating Farid? He's the coward. He don't dare to call me. Give me his Skype. I will call him right now. He's a potato. He, he, he said that he will book your flight ticket. But you see, you see, this, you, is, you this is additional proof that he's a coward because everybody knows I will not go anywhere. I do not need to go anywhere. It take a call in Skype and everybody either will laugh at him or at me. This is an excuse because he knew that I don't go anywhere. So it's like saying to Allah, I challenge you, Allah, come to me. But everyone knows Allah will not come. So it's it's a challenge. It's a challenge of a, it's a challenge of a coward. Your 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 Fifi, your Fifi. He knew I'm not going to do that. I don't do that to anyone. Like, did you see me ever going to debate anyone in the stage before? Is it like something about Farid only because he's something like a superstar? He's a stupid idiot kid. So he is a coward. Hijab himself accept to accept my call in Skype. He did not let me talk. He hung up on me eight times. I did not even talk 30 seconds. They are a bunch of cowards. So they make excuses. How come they are willing to take a Skype call from everybody? Did this guy debate the apostate prophet in Skype? Yes, he did. How come he can't do it with me? Because he's a potato. He is he is terrified. Like you, you are doing poop on your panty now. And look, here we go. The hate in front of you. You change to Fifi. What Fifi can let her Fifi help you? <laughs> yeah. the, this Fifi, he, he speak in Skype always. All what he do is in YouTube. Suddenly he wanna fly to me. He wanna have a date with me. Fifi wanna see Christian Prince. I cannot. I cannot do it unless I see Christian Prince. I wanna see Christian Prince. Please, I, I challenge you. I challenge you. I mean, isn't it obvious that this is a challenge of a dancer? Christian Prince, how old are you? How old are you? 
I am in the age of your grand grandfather. What does this have to do with this, my idiot? Answer, is that your prophet saying that this is the destiny of Adam and nobody can blame him? Nobody can blame him. Allah, he wrote in the destiny of Adam 40 years before he created, me, created him that this is a sin he must commit, yes or no? <clears throat> No. Well, sorry, the hate for us then. Mm, see, CP. See, CP. Don't force me. I got on you. Read it. It says, Do you blame me for doing a deed which Allah had decreed that I should do 40 years before He created me? Then your prophet says, So Adam got the better of Musa's argument. And he repeat that three times like you. So, Muhammad, he agreed with Adam that we cannot blame Adam for the sin he committed, for this is the decree from Allah 40 years before he created him. Uh, <coughs> Christian Prince, um, regarding, like, like, see, we definitely believe that there is God's will and free will, of course, but uh don't tell me we believe you see you are changing the topic your prophet either you i want you to comment com, what your prophet said your prophet he agree that we cannot blame adam for his sin he said he said it clearly he didn't that makes it clean to you uh, he said it clearly it's simple musa said to him because of you we are of paradise adam he said to him no you cannot blame me for something which Allah decreed for me 40 years before he created me. Your prophet took the side of Adam. So we, it's very simple. Can we blame Adam for his sin? No. Why? Because it was a decree of Allah. The hate is very simple. Which hadith is this? Adam and Musa alayhi salam. This all over. What do you want? I can give you tons of them. Which one you want? <clears throat> This is the, as an example here, Sahih Muslim. So you can say it's weak. Sahih Muslim, hadith number 2652. Hadith number 18. Allah tells us that man, okay, I'll give you by evidence right now that we have free will. Allah tells us that man believes and does righteous deeds like from like from free will. Hmm. Uh, then he enters Jannah hmm. or, and when he disbelieves, he will enter Jahannam. Hmm. Okay. What? And uh, what, what, what say again? Oh, yeah, yeah. Allah, firstly, Allah says that Allah is just uh, like if Allah, what this had to do with my question, man, everything. guys? Allah is just, no, Allah is not just. Let me show you when you commit adultery, do Allah punish you for adultery, yes or no? Uh, Allah can forgive. No, no, I'm not asking you. Okay, let us say somebody. Uh, he commit adultery and he asks for repentance according to Islam, still you will be punished. So let us say he repent, he forgive. But what if somebody he did not repent? Allah will punish him. If, even if he does not repent, Allah can forgive. So Allah will not punish anyone for adultery. Are you saying that to me? No, no I'm saying that except major shirk. Mm -hmm. Allah, it's up to Allah if Allah will forgive or not. Forgive. Okay, we will go to Allah the shirk. May forgive, Allah okay, may we forgive. will go to the shirk. But if somebody commit adultery. And then he will go to hell for one of the sins he commit is adultery. Allah will punish him or not? Not necessarily. Maybe yes, maybe no. It depends to Allah. Allah will decide it on Qiyamah. Okay, no problem. So it's maybe yes, right? Yeah, it's maybe yes. Okay, yeah. is adultery is a choice you make or it is a decree from Allah? It is both. It is both. <laughs> no, you are a liar. Read the hadith. Here we go. It's in front of you. This is the hadith in the screen. Read it for us. Uh, just give me one minute. Yeah. Hmm. In, uh, in Surah. Read the hadith. I have it for you in the screen. Don't tell me Surah Bura. Surah Bura. Listen. The hadith in front of you, let me read for you. The Prophet said, not me, Verily Allah has fixed the very portion of adultery, which the man... Fine, fine, fine. Yeah, yeah. Listen, listen, okay. regarding free will, listen, listen now. Surah 9... No, read the hadith, read the hadith, read the hadith. Uh, you can read the surah for me after, no problem, read the hadith. We, we don't change the topic, we're talking about adultery now. 
you you say you say that both of them that's is very very funny because that's mean you call Allah say Allah hey I'm going to do adultery do you like me to do it Allah he says yes so Allah is a partner in the in the bed with you <laughs> it's in front of you it's in the screen hey Sahih Muslim two six five seven B two six five seven B yeah and later we'll talk about coronavirus or I mean Quran verse which is the same <clears throat> okay hmm. destiny read it two six five seven B two six five seven B yeah Sahih Muslim uh, where really Allah has fixed the very portion of adultery which a man will indulge in and which mm. he of necessity must commit. The mm. adultery of the eyes, the lustful look, and mm. the adultery of... Yeah, yeah, okay, so okay. yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. it's a what? So, uh, it's a necessity he must commit. It's not a choice. Why you are lying to me, says the free will? It's a necessity. He must commit. So why Allah will punish you? How, how stupid this religion is? So is corrupting the Torah is a necessity he must commit you are the one who said to me it's a qadr from allah it's a destiny from allah to corrupt the torah and this is in total agreement with this so allah so allah is the biggest fat liar allah is the biggest fraud okay hold on how you go sleep with the women and then it is allah who decide for you before he created you that you will sleep with that woman and it's a sin which against allah and then Allah will punish you for the sin which is against Allah. But He is the one who forces you to do it. Types of texts which are which are in contrast. Take care, my friend. Take care. I have no time. No, no time for kids. I have no time for kids. I'm not going to waste my time. It's it's, it's in front of you. Stop playing games. I'm shame on you. It says he must commit. What a bunch of kids. A necessity. Not he only will commit. It's a necessity to commit. Do you see it? Which of necessity must commit? I cannot find one mature Muslim I can speak to. There are a bunch of kids, all of them. It's impossible. It's like it's a mission impossible. Why are you are calling me back? Why are you are calling me uh, back? CB, Will you avoid it? You, you see, listen. I don't. I don't. I'm not going to debate people who they are proven to be liars. You are lying. The hate in front of you. It says it's a necessity. You must commit. Either you are saying this is what it says. Be honest, or leave. Okay, okay, CP, I agree. It says it's a necessity. Okay, okay so how Allah will punish you? Okay, that's and wonderful. Surah, and Surah 9, Ayah 70 are in a contrast. <laughs> so whenever there are two texts which are in contrast, mm. you, what you do is you, you you try to reconcile them and form one doctrine. So so you have one Ayah that explicitly says, Surah 9, Ayah 70 explicitly says about free will. And the Hadith Surah, you Surah, said, Surah, what, what, what Surah? Surah, 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 hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Surah 970, you said? 70? Yes, Surah 970. Nine, okay. So, chapter 9, verse number 70, correct? Yeah. Okay. Read it for us. Has not the story reached them of those before them, the hmm. people of Nuh, Ad and Tamud, the people of Ibrahim, the dwellers of Madian, hmm. and the cities overthrown? <clears throat> To them came their messengers with clear proofs, mm. so it was not Allah who wronged them, but they used to wrong themselves. Okay, so you agree with this verse? Do you agree with this verse? Yes. Okay, you see, this is a proof that the Quran is a false book. Because according to your God, your fate is written for you about your bad deed and good deed when he created you. So those people, they did yeah. what Allah, he made them do. It, this is not they are wrong in themselves. 
And here you see the stupidity of the, 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 the author of the Quran. Because Allah, he said, okay, okay. that there is no sin you will do. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I gave you, I, let's, say, uh, okay, let's say there is a swimming pool, okay? What? If, let's say there is a swimming pool and, uh, and a person is about to jump. He's, he's standing on the dive board, okay? Hmm. And he's about to jump. And I go, like that person's name is CP, and I am behind him, mm. and he's about to jump, and I push him, mm. and my push and his jump is exactly at the same time. So, will you say that he jumped by himself, or would you say that I pushed him? Well, Which this, one is it? But, but you see, both, right? But you see, you have no place in the Quran it says that both happen at the same time. You are fabricating your own story. Yeah. Because okay, okay, okay. Let me let, let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Hold on. Hold, hold, okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, who is the one who make people kuffar? They themselves. Themselves. Okay, guys. Okay, okay, guys. Themselves. They are the one who made them kuffar. Let us see if this is true or not. I want you to read for me the Quran. Oh, guys, chapter. Oh, that no, no, no. Chapter six, verse number one zero seven. Chapter number six, verse one oh seven. One zero. Uh, wars. One of seven. Hmm. But if Allah had willed. They would not have associated. Uh, <laughs> and we have not appointed you over them as a guardian. Are you, um, uh, hmm. No, are you so a manager? It is the, it is, yes, it, this talks about like, like you cannot make anybody believe or disbelieve. Okay, hold you on. You just have to, like, it, the basic message of this ayah no. is that in no. Dawah, okay. you just have to go no, 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 have taken be, be this is not only about being sin this is the biggest sin it is allah will that you they, those people they will they will worship beside him okay let me show you how ignorant you are in your religion is it in the quran in the chapter of the at, at the queer it says uh you cannot will something if allah don't will it which means it's the will of allah it's not your will there we go in the chapter of the queer let, us, let me open it. Let me, let me uh, open it. Listen to me very briefly. No, very briefly. Listen, listen. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, my friend. Just take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Yeah, as easy. Okay. <clears throat> let me pop open the the verse for you and give me a second. Uh, CP, are you an Islamic scholar? I am the master of Allah, not only scholar. Your Allah Himself. In your cannot, Instagram. Your your Allah. Like your your your, your, your Allah. Allah Himself. He cannot debate me, my friend. That's the truth. Just can you just, can you just name say, me one God, ulama, one scholar mm. who can you name me one scholar who said that camel urine is haram? Name me one scholar. Mm, one scholar is camel urine or haram. There's many of them. Anyone who don't agree with the hadith of 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 of, of uh, 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 any hadith, he will say this is not allowed. Not allowed. There's tons of them. There are thousands of them. Because you Muslim, you keep agreeing, disagree about anything. Even the one which agree about the Muslims at the end of the fatwa, they say the the the, the scholars they agree about not to agree about this topic. And you are telling me which is scholar? Uh, yeah, yeah. So so basically. <laughs> <laughs> my friend my friend it, it, it doesn't matter why you are changing the topic is it allah will that people actually i came here to no no you know is it is it you know in the quran the quran is so clear it says it clearly that allah he is the one who who who, who made the will happen and what is the will that anything you do it is a destiny for you, and this is one of the basic belief in Islam. If you don't believe in the qadr of Allah, you are not a Muslim. <sighs> Let me make it simple for you. If a baby is born, I, I, he's a Muslim. Hold on, hold on. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just make it simple. simple. Just, 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 just the final hit in your nose. If a baby is born, 
and he is just a kid he is like five yet five days old if he die where he will go uh if he if he's what five days what yeah he's a he's a child of a muslim family and he die he's five years five days old or one month old where he will go okay. he will go to hell or to heaven uh on qiyama there will be uh allah will ask the mentally insane people like in this life whoever was who died as children <laughs> who were mentally insane those children those, those people allah will ask him allah will ask him and the judge allah will ask the infant in the judgment day ask him for what the guy he did not do anything no 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 no, no. allah allah will not ask him uh, he like this he will not be judged for his salvation in this life he will have a separate test Mm. On Qiyama, like they will be asked to jump. So what? What? What is the? What, what is the? What is the test? What is the test? Look, look, okay, 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 okay. Hold on. So guys, you Muslim, that's mean. You are you are believing that after the day of judgment, there is a life, you live, and then after that life, Allah will judge you by that life, not by the life previously before you die. That is stupid. That that is not Islamic. That is not Islamic because Allah judge you. My friend, my, 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 my friend, my, okay, my friend, can you show me one verse in the Quran saying that after you die, there is an option for you to repent? Uh, no, no, it's the option to, uh, like, the, the, there will be a second test only for uh, people who died as babies and people who, uh, like, were mentally insane in this Okay, wh where do you get this from? <clears throat> It's in a hadith. It's in a sahih hadith. Okay. You can see there is a video. Of okay, here we go. The, okay, the, the hadith in the front of you. No, hold on. No, 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 no. The, the hadith is in the front of you. It doesn't say that. Aisha, she went to attend a funeral of the child from Al Ansar, and they are Muslims, who they used to do practice the the, the ritual of the pagans like Muhammad, and they they like to do al Safa al Marwa, and this is why Muhammad he added Safa al Marwa to Islam because of the Ansar. So here we not we notice. That Muhammad he attended the funeral and Aisha she said, Well, this child will be in heaven. Muhammad he said, No, it might be the otherwise. Where is the test? It says clearly why he said, Because Allah, you see, just to show you how they lie to you. I don't know what you are getting your information from where, but they are lying to you, my friend. This is Sahih Muslim. Your prophet saying, Because Allah, He created people of hell. And those who will go to hell while they were in the backbone of their father. <laughs> There's no test. Mm -hmm. Already he made decision for them where they will go. They are babies. So Aisha, she said she will go to heaven. Muhammad, he says, no, don't be stupid. Per adventure, Aisha. Don't be silly. For Allah, he created people of paradise who will go to paradise while they were in the backbone of their father because it's the Quran teach that you are the sperm is coming from the backbone which is stupid too or Allah created them or those who will go to hell Allah created their, their they will go to hell while they were in the line of their fa fa father so there's no test he is he is in the test he is in the backbone of his father not testicles and yet it, it's already the decision made where he will go have nothing to do with the sin will do this is destiny, my friend. This is what Islam believe in. This is your garbage. So stop fabricating answers. Yeah. Okay. So now, if I am a person who is going to go to hell because Allah, let us say I'm born two days old and then I die and my parents are Muslims. And then I will go to hell because Allah, destiny for me, I will go to hell. Why? I will go to hell. Give me a reason. Because Allah destined it for you and you, you because of your free will both. What a free will! He's a, he's, a, he's, a, he's one day old. What free will? <laughs> Muslim prince, don't come again, please. Just just have have mercy, has have mercy on me, man. I, I don't have time for stupid people. Sorry. I don't mean to be rude with you, but you are being stupid. Just have mercy on me. You know. Enough is enough. I mean, can you believe stupidity, how far it can go? And if you are trying to call me, if you are not a Muslim, don't call me. I will hang up on you. Only Muslims can call me. If you are a Muslim, you can call me. If you are a Christian and you call me right now, not only I will hang up on you, I will block you. Only Muslims can call me. And we are here to prove that Islam is stupid. And this is why you see stupid answer from Muslims.
Hello? Hey, CP. Ultimate Daddy, Ultimate. Oh, so here we go. We have the, the, the idiot uh, Ultimate Fart. How are you, Ultimate Fart? <laughs> hmm. So where we stopped last time? Where, where we stopped last time? Do you remember? Do you remember? Oh, hold on. Let me, let me, let me turn the YouTube down. Hold on. <laughs> Do you remember when last time we got hang up on you and why we hang up on you? <clears throat> Hello. Yeah, last time I did laugh at you very much, and we did we 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 die laughing. You said that the heaven of Islam is one heaven, and then you said it is one hundred floor. Now, is that in the Quran or this is in the Hadith? First of all. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. You coward, you said to me, you don't believe in the hadith. The hadith written by the Arab. I don't believe in the hadith. I believe in the Quran only. And then when I asked you about the Jannah, you said to me, it's 100 floor. Is that from the Quran or from the hadith? I said, let me repeat exactly what I said. Mm. You have the video. It's right, it's recorded. Mm -hmm. Like I said, you're lying. You'll be lying. I said, there is one... Al Jannah, Al Jannah. You say it, don't change the topic. You said you don't believe in the hadith. You said you don't believe in the. Did you say you don't believe in the hadith? Did you? Did you say stop it? Stop, 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 no, 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 no. I, I, no, no you, you are a, you, 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 my, my fingers is all over. My fingers is all over your ass. You say it. Did you, did you say? Okay, no, no. I want you to start from this. I'm, I, I want you to start from this. Did you say? Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Did you say in the video, previous video, that you don't believe in? The, did you say? In, uh, you, uh, but you start from here. Did you say that you don't believe? You don't. You don't believe in the hadith. I know you. You will never. You, you will never answer. I. I know you. I know you. The only reason I allow you to talk because you wanna have fun. Now, did you say you don't believe in the hadith? Did you say you don't believe in the hadith? Yes or no? Yes, I said. So I why you are quoting for me? So why you are quoting for me a daif hadith saying that the heaven is one hundred floor? I never quoted a hadith. I said, listen to me. Mm -hmm. I said, it's like having one hundred. From where you get this? Okay, guys, he did not quote a hadith. The coward, he did not quote a hadith. Okay, you were quoting what? Okay, guys, hold. Okay, so you were quoting who? So are you fabricating your own? Are you fabricating? Shut up, coward, son of Muta. That's mean you are making your own hadith if you are not quoting hadith. When you say it's like it's like one hundred floor, brother, coward. When you say it is one, you didn't say it's like one hundred floor. You said it's one hundred floor, and the video is there, still there. I did not take it down. And you are quoting your prophet hadith, your donkey. Because if 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 you are making it up, if you are saying it is one hundred floor, that's mean you are a prophet, and you know what nobody knows. This is heaven. How do you know it's one hundred floor? Where you get this from? If we go in the hadith right now. We will find in the hadith exactly as you said for you are a coward you are a potato you are a son of muta they fabricate answers this is a hadith you see it and it is daif so when you say to me it's 100 floor either you are making things up and you claim to be a prophet because you have to tell me where you get this from and he will not answer for sure you said you did not even say 99 floor you did not say 60 floor you did not say 7 floor you said 100 floor exactly as it is in the hadith so the coward, when we mentioned to him a hadith, getting him busted, he said, I don't believe in the hadith, hadith written by the Arab, the Arab, the stupid, the Arab, the liar, garbage, they are garbage. Well, your prophet is Arab. And if the Arab are garbage, your prophet is the, the first of the Arab to be garbage. In fact, you are more garbage than your prophet. Because always when you give an answer, you fabricate your own. And when we get you busted, you say that, not say that. I just said like, uh, one hand the floor, where do you get it from? 
Are you a prophet? Coward. And when we say to him, okay, this verse is according to interpretation. My interpretation, my understanding. So we have we, we have tafsir, it's called today, tafsir of ultimate fort. Ultimate fort, he became a religion by himself. He's a prophet. He knew that heaven is one hundred floor without knowing from Muhammad. Allah told him. He received a phone call from Allah. Allah told him, uh, ultimate fort from Nigeria. My heaven have one hundred floor. <laughs> I'm not going to waste my time with stupid like you. He shout, he scream, he repeat himself, he say nothing. But already we have a hundred of you recorded and you got busted. You agree with Rashad Khalifa, the one the Muslims killed him for corrupting the Quran. You agree that the Injil is a word, this is your agreement, not my agreement, is an Aramaic, which everybody is laughing before this is a Greek word. And you just agreed by saying that the Injil is a Greek, is a, is, a, is Aramaic. That means Jesus is Aramaic because the Quran is saying we never send the messenger unless he speak the tongue of his people. We have you recorded all over, and everybody is laughing at you. And the only reason I let you speak to me because I like your fart. You fart too much at your prophet. The Quran said, I mean, this donkey, the same as uh, uh, Hijab, he said to David, uh, by the way, uh, Elijah, I mean, God is with us. Where do you get this from? And suddenly, Mimi Hijab, when I teach David Wood, Greek, Hebrew, and Arabic. Elijah is God with us. And this guy now, Injil is an Arabic word. Okay, where do you get this from? <laughs> Don't ask him. Don't ask ultimate fart where he get his answer from. He have answer, but where from is coming from? Don't ask him. I do not need to tell you. He's a genius by himself. He's, he's a prophet. Where he got it? The heaven is one hundred floor. Don't ask me. I know. Allah told me. We send not a messenger except with the language of his people. This is a translation. If you don't like this translation, we can open a different one. In order he make it clear. But the word in Jeel is a Greek. I mean, you do not need to be genius. Go and search Prophet Gogol. My problem with Muslims, I cannot find one mature Muslim. All of them, they are a bunch of kids. And they are desperate trying to say, I can answer you by what? By fabricating my own answers. I bet you you are one of those who, do, who practice a scam and you are trying to scam us but it doesn't work with me I give him the mic for 10 minutes 15 minutes and then he say nothing his answer is his answer it's not Islamic answer nothing this guy he say is an agreement with Islam and when we say to him do you do you see what your prophet said he don't agree with it I don't believe in the hadith <laughs> the hadith is the and the, the scholars of Islam, they, they say clearly that the one who don't believe in the Hadith is not a believer. He's a, not a Muslim. He's a Kafir. Let me show you the fatwa. You are a Kafir. According to Islam, Khanzir. Um, let us see. You are a mushrik. I, I, I showed the, the fatwa last time, but I'm trying to find it now. So we can put it in the screen.
Here we go. And the fatwa is in English, so we do not need to translate. This is the Muslim website stating clearly who is the one who reject the hadith. Islamic question and answer. Those are from Saudi Arabia, Sheikh Muhammad Saleh Al Munjid, one of the biggest mullahs, potato follower of Muhammad in Saudi Arabia, very famous. Does the one who reject the Sahih Hadith become a disbeliever? This is the question. Question number one one five one two five. The answer, yes, he is a disbeliever. The one who refused the hadith of the Prophet, he is a disbeliever. So, we know we are not debating somebody about his belief. We are debating Islam. Not somebody want to create for me his own belief, individual belief. I'm not debating you about that. You take your belief and make shish kebab with it. I'm debating the cult of Islam, not a guy from Nigeria. He do not know his head from his bum, and he create his own answers. Nobody can debate you in this case, because anything we show you, you don't accept it anyway. So what the point? We show you what Muhammad said, you don't accept it anyway. And as you see, the one who refused is a disbeliever. In general, Sharia and the evidence of general terms or reject Hadith or the Prophet, knowing that the, it is word of the Prophet, is a disbeliever. How they knew it's a, a disbeliever because it's sahih, it says sahih, that's it. But the coward, in order to prove a point, he is willing to quote for me a weak hadith. And then when we show him something very strong, he say, I don't accept any hadith. Oh, the hadith is written by the Arab liars. Isn't it the Quran written by the Arab liars to you, idiot? How you get the Quran? From the Nigerian people? Uh, <clears throat> do we have any Muslim want to say anything? We go back to our topic. Allah He sent Quran, and Allah will cause us to forget the Quran. I want any single Muslim, group Muslim, Sheikh Muslims, Fifi Muslim, Abdu Muslims, Billy Dancer Muslim to explain to us what kind of God He sent the Quran, and He won't cause me to forget. Why? What is the wisdom behind that? What is the purpose? How God he sent the book and then he will make me forget the book. I'm just trying to understand the wisdom. Any Muslim? I will send you a song and this is a song to sing for Allah. And this song have wisdom about Allah. And this song have a, a guidance for Allah. And then you recite the song and memorize the song. And then I will cause you to forget the song. Why? Any Muslim have an idea? No, we have enough recording from this ultimate fart. We have like a hundred recording people. They can die laughing. You can make a movie from, from his uh, videos. Jesus, he speak Aramaic. His book is in Aramaic. The word in Jesus is Aramaic. And the Jews are Aramaic. Actually, they are not. According to him, Jesus was sent to the Greek. 
<clears throat> and the second you show him what uh, the second you say to him okay who, who, do you, can you name for me one Muslim agree with you he says I do not need any Muslim this is my answer okay why well, you want to just go potato we don't debate liars nobody can debate liars potato as long as this is your opinion and you play games you don't agree with the hadith you don't agree with your prophet and then you quote for me from your weak hadith just to prove a point look how coward you are after all this post you are posting did you say to me where do you get this is 100 floor from i want you to explain to your followers if you have any chicken following you ever where do you get the idea they are 100 allah told you And then your prophet, when he went to the heaven, he said it clearly that he went to the first heaven, the second heaven, uh, the third heaven, the fifth heaven. <laughs> uh, when you debate a kid, you, you will turn to be a kid like him. Do we have any Muslim who have knowledge to call us? Anyone? <clears throat> Actually, even the Quran says clearly that this is heavens, not one heaven. I mean, this guy, he is not only certified donkey, many heavens this is Quran he will say it's weak Jannah is one Jannat is many do you see it chapter 2 verse number 25 and the translation is for the word Jannah here is coming as gardens, but the word Jannah is heaven, paradise. Change the translator. This is Yusuf Valley. What the word here? Jannah. But coming as as how many? Jannat. Jannah is one heaven. Jannat is many. And. When you say Jannat, it have to be three and more. And Muhammad described them as seven heavens. And where is Allah located? In the seven heaven. The seven paradise. As you see, after he finished supposedly working, creating the earth, he went to heaven and he sat in his throne. The Muslim, they say here, the word is tawa, does not mean set, it's mean he leveled himself, but it's obvious, it's a chair. I mean, this is funny, so is tawa, what does that is tawa mean? He leveled himself on the chair, it's a chair. The word here coming in Arabic is arsh, arsh means throne, but in different chapter, there's a chapter actually, it's called the chapter of the chair. The whole chapter is called the chair, kursi, which is not an Arabic word. And the chair of Allah, even the Quran, describe how big it is. Which is proven to us that Muhammad is a fraud. Why? Because the Quran is saying that the chair of Allah is the same size of the earth and the heaven. How that can be unless the earth and the heaven they have one size his kursi this is a muslim translation extends over the heaven and the earth 
That's it. This will extend. That is extend. There's no more. So the chair of Allah is limited to the size of the earth and the heaven. That's mean there's heaven and there's earth. Let us make a drawing so people can see the stupidity. This is the earth. And then there is a heaven in the top of it. Let us make it like a square or whatever you want to call it. And Allah chair is here. And Allah chair is in the same size of the earth and the heaven. And Allah is sitting here watching TV. <laughs> Does it say chair? Yes, it says chair. <clears throat> hmm. Any Abdul? And look at those cowards that they call me, they say, Christian Prince is finished. <laughs> Absolutely finished. I am the one who make you forget the Quran. I am the one who made you do breastfeeding for adult. I am the one who made you believe that the prophet water of his panty is holy. I am the one who make you fight over the poopoo of the camel of Aisha. Christian Prince is finished. You have no answer. Somebody saying that uh, Fifi did not debate uh, apostate prophet in Skype. Okay, I don't know because I saw them once. They they have an image of him. They have a the picture of his uh, of uh, apostate prophet like in in four corners. There's four corners. So every there's Fifi and there's a Muslim guy and there's other guy and then they have a picture of so this may be Photoshop coward liars so they make Photoshop they put it in the front of the screen to fool people saying that this guy was debating us what a bunch of cowards but all of you you saw when I call the coward Mimi Hijab what he did he promised the Muslim he will debate me do you want me to debate the Christian Prince you should sure yeah please debate him yeah then we call him. We wait for him 45 minutes. We call him, he start playing videos. Did you say this? I start talking, he hang up on me. And he start calling me names. He did not let me talk. And not only that, the coward, they put the speakers far away from the mic so nobody even can hear my answer to him in his channel. This is how terrified they are. If somebody want to debate me from those who claim they can answer, they can call me. All what we get is a bunch of kids. Actually, even those who they are new to, they are a bunch of kids. When we debate, really, the ones who have real knowledge in Islam, you will see how easy it is. Like when I debate uh, the head of the, the Muslim Shia in USA, Al Imam Al Husseini, go watch it and die laughing. When I debated the Dr. Ruhi, or oh, hold on, when I debated the Sheikh of uh, New York, not like those YouTuber guys, kids. What was his name? I forgot his name. Anyone remember the video? Who remember the video of, of for the Sheikh from New York? <clears throat> well, they have no intention to have fair debate. And why are you expecting Muslim to have a fair debate? They will never be fair with you. This Islam cannot be fair. Muslim is not allowed to be fair with non-Muslims anyway. When the prophet of Islam, he says that the Muslims, they should humiliate a Christian. Is that fair? Even the Quran encouraged the Muslims that Allah, he ordered the Muslims to humiliate the Christians when he, they see them in the street. So how they can be fair? Don't expect them. I'm not expecting them to be fair. And actually, this is my biggest win. Because when they are not fair people, they will see that they are following false prophet proud muslim here we go the same guy he's changing his name how are you proud muslim 
السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام uh, uh, I want to tell you something uh, you be talking about um, hadiths and stuff in Islam you don't believe I want to ask you a question you don't believe in hadith? um, the hadith no uh, I do but I want to ask you do you believe in the hadith my friend I don't believe in anything in Islam Islam is a joke for me and you, you just said to me assalamu alaikum you broke the command of your prophet well, isn't it your prophet? He says, don't greet the Christians by saying to them, Salaam Alaikum. All right, that, that's uh, besides the point. But I mean, uh, no, no, it's not beside the point. You are, that, you are calling me to teach me about Islam. And now you are the one who is breaking the command of Islam. So who is the one who knows Islam, me or you? How you say to are me? You upset? Are you upset that I said Islam Alaikum? No, no, I'm not upset. I'm, my friend, I, I'm, I'm talking to you nicely. Don't, don't, don't be upset for me for speaking loud. I'm just asking you how you say to me assalamu alaikum and you are calling me to school me about islam but you should know that the prophet he forbid you to say that to me the prophet said don't initiate saluting of to the jews don't say to them assalamu alaikum and you speak arabic as i understand yet you call me and you say assalamu alaikum there's one one of two choices either you are ignorant in islam or you are hypocrite which one is you all right, you want to talk about you want to say um he said prophet muhammad said all these bad things but he had uh, many fulfilled prophecies this is not the question now don't change topic we will we, we i will promise you i will talk about the prophecy no problem but did your prophet say don't say assalamu alaikum to christians the, the, uh, i'm gonna be honest uh, i never heard of that okay no problem guys he never heard of that i accept that from you and I will believe you, no problem. Now, you tell me there is many fulfilled prophet, pro prophecy from the prophet. Give me one. Yes, in uh, uh, Sahih Bukhari, uh, Book 1, uh, Hadith 63. Read the Hadith. Prophet from Muhammad said that that, uh, that the Arabs are going to be competing in uh, tall buildings. And hmm. that's uh, true right now. It's happening right now. Okay, do you accept this Hadith? Yeah. Okay, I, I want you to promise me that you will not say I don't accept it. All right, I won't. All right. Guys, he is a person who said he accept the hadith. Read the hadith with me. Because your prophet, he said that many things will happen. And one of them, which is going to happen almost at the end, that they will have high building. So look what happened. The judgment, they will not happen. Till the bigger groups fight each, of, each, uh, each other. And whereupon there will be a great number of casualty and in both sides. And they will be following the same religion doctrine doctrine so what there's two big a group they will have a big war and both of them they are following one religion okay then then the 30 that jar will appear the 30 not the first one the 30 and then each of them will claim that he is the messenger of allah and then then the, the, the religious knowledge taken away from the from the people which means there's nobody there's no religious scholars Number four, the earth, earthquake will increase in number, in number. Number five, time will pass so quickly, which means that they will become short. It's not 24 hours no more. And number six, affliction will appear. Number seven, al-haraj, al al which means people killing each other and will increase. And then number eight, till wealth will be abundance, which means if you see money in the street, nobody will collect it. And then nobody will pay the cat. And then... People will compete in each other in construction of high building. So look how many things have to happen before the Arab they start building high building. So your prophet is a false prophet because none of those things happen. Uh, but how do you know it sounds like they were supposed to be like one after the other? They could Don't you, my friend, uh, can't you read? Can't you read? I have it on the screen in front of you. It says number one, number yeah. two, number three, number four. Those things have to happen. He is mentioning in, in order. The, on, the hour will not come. You don't start from the end, go into the, to the first. You start from things to happen from now and then until you arrive to the time of the judgment day. So the, the prophecy you gave me, proving Muhammad to be a false prophet. And by the way, the Arab, they have high building during, even in the time of Muhammad because the Yemen, they have those high buildings since before Muhammad. <laughs> so what we will do now? What we will do now, your prophet is, is you, you are the one who gave me a hadith to prove that Muhammad is a fraud. Uh, and uh, you know, there's um, there's another hadith uh, that uh, where uh, Muhammad says, uh, My that friend, my friend, you what, what's, your, what's your name if you don't mind? What's your name? 
Uh, Abdul. Abdul. Master Abdul. You are the one who chose this hadith for me to prove to me that Muhammad is a prophet. The conclusion, do you agree with me? That this hadith proving that Muhammad is false because the, the Arab will have high building after 30 the Jal came. After the no money wanted to need money. Do you need money? Do you need money now? I mean, do you know? Everybody need money. People getting poor. Bangladesh is the biggest Islamic country in the world. People are dying from anger, my friend. Somalia. So you're a prophet saying, when those things happen, then the Arab, they will have high building. Nobody will collect money. People see money in the street. Nobody will take it. So if this is what your prophet said, and this is the proof to you that Muhammad is a prophet, that means Muhammad is a fraud. Mr. Abdul. Uh, well, well, I don't know, but... Uh... All right, what the, there's uh, another uh, prophecy where he said, Okay, says we will go. Okay, drink. hold on, hold on. So, guys, there's another prophecy. So, this prophecy was false. Do you agree with me? Uh, I don't know how to respond to that. What do you mean? You have to respond. You are the one who chose it. We cannot jump to different one. I mean, we cannot do that, my friend. We are making hummus here. So, you have to tell me the proof is in the front of you. Muhammad is a fraud. Either you agree that this is a false prophecy from a false prophet or you answer me. The proof in front of you, it was your choice, not my choice. I'm not the one who called you and say, I'm going to show you this hadith. It's you who, who chose it. The hadith is so clear. Muhammad is a fraud. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? How come you know? How come you know that this hadith proved Muhammad is a prophet and now suddenly you do not know? No, I just uh, I heard it a lot on uh, Dawa channels. Ah, Dawa channel. So, so you you have a bunch of chickens laying their own phony eggs. It's a plastic eggs in in YouTube, and you take the phony eggs. You think there is a baby inside, but there's no chicken inside. So, what we will do now? Dawa channel. They are they are not Dawa. They are they are deceiving channel, obviously, because they lie to you. Here we go. That this hadith alone is enough to prove Muhammad is a fraud. But the time is, is passing so quickly. Yesterday it was only three hours for me. I don't know what happened. He hang up. <laughs> that was channel. <laughs> that was potato. I, the, I don't know. They, they told me in the that was channel, brother. And I, the hadith is obvious. It's clear. Muhammad is a fraud. And this is a Sahih Hadith. They cannot say this is a weak Hadith, which means this is against their Prophet. This is Sahih Al-Bukhari, Hadith number 7121. So they cannot say we don't accept it. And they are the one who promote this Hadith everywhere. But now after a Christian prince, he got them busted, they will say, oh, this Hadith is wrong. We don't accept this Hadith, brother. People will walk in the street and nobody will collect the money. Why? Since when? Why food became for free? The sky is going to send sardine. Yesterday I opened the door. I did not go to the store. I found sardine coming from the sky. The prophecy of the prophet is happening. Sardine is coming. Tona is coming. I said, uh, Allah, I want tona. Tona came, big tona, in the top of my head. 400 kilogram, brother. So Muhammad is a fraud prophet. So you call him you can call him prophet. We, we will keep calling him a prophet, but he's a fraud prophet, he's a false prophet. That's it. We cannot take the name of prophet from his name. Because that is going to be attached to the word of fraud. When Muhammad is saying, uh, let me tell you a prophecy, my friend. Muhammad he predicts science, Muhammad. Let me show you a prophecy, I will help you. Call me back, my friend. Call me. I don't know why you hang up. Look at this prophecy. How oh, Muhammad he knew this unless he is a he is a prophet. Allah told him. The messenger of Allah said, The man water is thick and white. The prophet he knew that the sperm of the man is white and thick. Amazing how he knew that. Looked like maybe he used to have a sperm too. Maybe, I don't know. And women water is thin and why women water is thin and yellow? Muhammad he think women that water in her in her private part, this is a sperm. 
Look at an idiot. And then he says, whichever of them comes first, the child will resemble them. This is the this is DNA science, brother. This is a pure science. I mean, how the prophet knew that? Obviously, he's a prophet. Only prophets of Allah knew that. Actually, there's a hadith where a Jewish, uh, 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 the story is saying like a Jewish guy came and he asked him, or let's say they claim that he is uh, from, from the friends of the Jews or something like that. They are confused about it. He came to him, he said to him, Prophet, I'm going to ask you three questions. Nobody know the answer of them unless he is a prophet. And here you see that st the, how the, st the stupidity of this, the story start. If nobody know the answer for those things except a prophet, but the guy who's asking the question, he knew the answer. Read, read, read. Ibrahim, I will ask you about three things which nobody knows unless he is a prophet. Okay. I mean, the introduction is so clear. Nobody know the answer unless he is what? He is a prophet. But the guy who's asking the question, he knew the correct answer. That's mean he's a prophet too. Have you ever heard of a stupidity more than this? I mean, you have to be a certified donkey to write a hadith like this. And then, okay, what is the question? Firstly, firstly, what is the first point of the hour? Hmm? What is the first meal of the people in paradise? Look how serious the questions, brother. First meal for the people in paradise? This is very important. What our first meal? Hummus? Falafel? And what make the baby look like his father? Ugh. And look, here Muhammad, he changed. What is the first thing for the, the when, when help? When the judgment day will come, he said, uh, as for the first portent of the hour, it will be fire that will collect people from the east and the west. But this is different from what he said, different hadith. The first meal for people, they will, eat, they will eat the liver of the, of the whale. Why Allah will feed them the liver of the whale? Because simply, this is will make them, the Arab, they believe, uh, 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 there is something is called uh, amber, amber, and amber. Uh, uh, I think in English maybe called amber. Uh, it can be taken either from the whale or it can be taken from the deer. The deer, he have a sexual uh, uh, organ. I'm, I'm not I'm sure what, how to say it in English, which produces certain kind of a smell for the female. You know, they believe if you eat it that will make you sexually very active so look allah because he promised them a lot of women in heaven so muhammad preparing for them a meal you will eat from that one and you will be like viagra exactly and then muhammad he answered about the baby how the baby looked like the, the parents and about the the baby how we look like if the man's charge proceed in that of the women then the child resemble the parent the father Resemble him in what? Male and female, not only resemble the look, he will look like a man, like the father, not only like a, he took the eye of the father. The, no, he will resemble the father as gender. We can prove it for you from the hadith where it says, Adhikara. So if the man have discharged first, the, 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 the baby, Adhikar. If the women have discharged second or first, it's going to be Untha. And then the, the Abdul, the, the Jewish guy, he was like amazed, like, wow, how you know that? And then the guy, he said, I truly, truly, you are a prophet of Allah. We have 527 people here. Don't forget to give us a like if you like what we do. Don't forget to subscribe. Tomorrow morning, we will be in the other channel, which is called the quality of life. And we will answer somebody speak about faith in the Bible. So we will answer about that topic. So it's going to be a kind of a, uh, uh, speaking about destiny and faith, etc. Again, we, we did that last time. So if you like to join us tomorrow morning in USA, I don't know what your time will be. You can check it out in the channel quality of life. 
and you can join us but that that channel is not for Islam so please don't go there speak about Islam chat about Islam we will block you that channel only for different topics clean topics all right something useful here this channel is uh, 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 we are specialized in garbage and recycling so if you like to join us there subscribe to the other channel all right Any Abdul? Hey, by mistake, we hide you uh, as, uh, uh, is that Sam Shamoon? He is. Yeah, he is. Yeah, sorry, by mistake, I did hide your text. I thought somebody making a fake name. Any Muhammadan? <clears throat> Any Abdul? Maybe, maybe. What time? Just to check the channel, my friend. Check the channel, you will find it. If you go to Patreon, you will find I post it. I will post the link. Always I post in Patreon. I post in Facebook. I post in mind.com. This is the best way to always to get updated because sometimes uh, YouTube does not give not notification. All right? Potato, <laughs> potato. <laughs> all right, all right, guys. I think we have a good time for today, and we have some colors which is like was spicy. And this is how funny the Muslims when they are so excited, supposedly. And the second the Muslim he start saying, "I don't believe in the Hadith," it's mean he is in the corner. The second he said, "I don't agree with the scholar," it's mean he is in the corner. The second he say, I don't believe in that. I, this, I will give you my own explanation, my own interpretation. That's mean he is in the corner. They create their own cult, which means Islam is millions of cults. For every one of them, he tried to get away from the disaster of the teaching of Muhammad. So they fabricate their own answers, which have nothing to do with Islam. And in order to escape the madness and the stupidity of their prophet, they say, we don't believe in the hadith. And when you show them the Quran, you say, we don't, we don't accept this interpretation. Christian, don't do that. You will never find a Christian say, I don't accept this verse in the Bible. Never. We don't compromise with the teaching of Christ. We don't. A person who compromise, a person who say I don't agree, he's not he's not Christian. As simple as that. Either you agree with the book or you don't. But because Muslims are ashamed of their prophet, for us we have nothing to be ashamed of. We are the followers of the Messiah, and who is better than the Messiah? His name is holy. His words is eternal. His act is miracles. He himself is a miracle. How we can be ashamed of him? We cannot. In the other side, they have a guy. He have sexual relationship with the children. He's a thief. He's a killer. Even the Muslims accuse him that he steal a piece of clothing, which it might be underwear or panty or bikini. He fornicates with his own son wife. He flirts with her when she is married. He forced his son to divorce the women so he can have her. He fabricates verses claiming that Allah gave it to him. And what is the verses? Any women she want to give her private part for the Prophet. And the Muslim, they say to you, where it says give her a private part? It says any Muslim she give herself. To do what exactly with him? What Muhammad would do with that woman who is giving herself to the Prophet? I will give you options. She is going to play chess with him. They are going to study Corona or they will go to the bed and do boom boom. Which one of them? Hmm? 
Hmm? Which one? Do we have any Mohammedan before we go? I don't know what happened to this proud Muslim. Let me call him back just to say hello, just to be sure he's okay. <clears throat> okay, he's not answering. We cannot force him to talk. The one who will keep repeating the text, I will block you. The one who will spam the text, I will block you. Anyone, doesn't matter if you are a Christian, you are a Hindu, you are a Jew, I will block you. This is a warning. Anyone keep repeating the same text in the chat, we will block you. Don't act like a kid. Okay, here we go. Take care. Hello? Hello? Yes, my friend. Why you hang up? Where do you go? What happened? It was, uh, it was an accident. Uh, accident. I hope you are okay. Is your finger is okay? All right. All right. Are you, are you going to listen to the hadith? Which hadith? Give me, give me the hadith. Go ahead. What? All right. Uh, hold on one second. I'm trying to find the number real quick. Hmm. Yeah, on um, Sai Muslim uh, <clears throat> 2024 and 25. Hmm. Uh, prophet, he said that um, that you should drink while you, while you're uh, down instead of standing up. That's proven to have uh, like uh, benefits. Okay, what is what what benefit? What is benefit? What do you mean? <clears throat> it's uh, it's been proven. Proven what? It's 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 like healthier, better better. I mean, you can't deny that. So this is because it's healthier, or because it's something. Uh, else, it's healthier. Where you get the reference that this is because of health issue? Oh, I, I, I sent you the link real quick. No problem, but it doesn't say what you are saying. Does it say it's healthier? Read the hate for me. No, it, uh, all right, one second. Remember, you are the one who chose the hadith, so I'm going to show you what the hadith is saying, right. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it says uh NS reported Allah's apostle disapproved of drinking water while standing. Hmm. Well, okay, but does it say that we call this is healthy? No. Okay, it so why you why you are saying it is because it's healthy if it is not? Are you making things up? Because anything our Prophet tells us to do, we listen to. I mean, there's lots of things Prophet Muhammad told us to do, and they've been proven to have benefits like growing your beard and stuff like that. Okay, my friend, your Prophet, he said that people, they do that, the one who do that, he, he the Prophet, he drink sitting because Shaitan, he drink with him. If you drink standing, Shaitan, he drink with you. All right, and what's wrong with that? But you just said to me this is because if it's healthy, but the, but the, but the fact it's superstition is stupid. All right, how are you gonna say it's superstition? Don't you Christians believe? Okay, hold on, my friend. How, you a second ago you said to me that this is a hadith proven to be healthy, but your prophet giving the excuse for that because shaitan he drink with you. So is it because it's healthy or because Muhammad is afraid that if he do it this way, standing, shaitan, he will drink with him? Both. What do you mean both? It's both. Well, what's wrong with that? 
<laughs> My friend, but your prophet, he did not say both. Your prophet, he said, Shaitan, he drink with you. He did not say both. Did he say both? You know, you know, almost everything in Islam that we do, oh, they almost everything has benefits, like fasting. My, my, my and friend, stuff. everything have a. Why are you changing the topic? Why are you changing the topic? I'm not it, okay, topic. so so it is. Is it is it both or your prophet? He said that this is because Shaitan he drink with you. Why can't it be both? The, well, he did not say prophet. both. He, <laughs> did he say, did, my friend? Did he say this is because it's healthy or he said because of the Shaitan? Thing about the shaitan that's uh, the ghaib, the unseen so we, we don't uh, you need to uh, like talk about that the, my friend the question is very simple did your prophet mention health or he mentioned shaitan which means he is believing in superstition stuff cartoon all right do you disagree with me when i say that everything in islam uh, they all have benefits my friend what everything what, 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 okay guys look how they change the topic how in the world your prophet how in the world your prophet believe that if you drink water standing shaitan will drink with you well look here's the thing i see you 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 make fun of these things and many things in the quran that talk about demons and stuff but christians you believe the same thing too so why are you laughing we don't believe in the same thing show me what it says where jesus said don't drink <laughs> don't drink standing because shaitan yeah. he will drink with yeah. you uh, Satan tempted Jesus for 40 days or something like that. But, but, okay, <laughs> Shaitan, he tried when he said tempted, he said, Jesus, do this. Can you do this? Jesus did not do what Shaitan he wants. So this is not really a temptation for Jesus. It's a try of temptation. But you're a prophet, and I want to show you, to show you the hadith. Did your prophet say, and he agree, that Shaitan, he command him, and he, 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 he take command from Shaitan? That's not true. Okay, let's see if it's true or not. I will, I will put the hadith for you on the screen and you tell me if it's true or not. Alright. Here we go. This is Sahih Muslim. It says, None among you who is, who is not attached from among the shaitan, the devil, the companion, they said, Even you, Prophet? Even you? He said, Yes, even me. But Allah helped me against him, so I am safe from his hands, and he does not command me but to do good. Do you see it on the screen, or I'm making things up? There's no, what's wrong with the hadith? It said, Shaitan can't make uh, the Prophet do bad things, can't tempt him to do bad things. Okay, so, but, so now so now you Muslim believe that Shaitan is Allah, because he is the one who command Muhammad. Muhammad received command from who? From Shaitan or from Allah? You can get command from anyone. Anyone. If you were at the time of the prophet. Oh, really? Go, okay. G give me give me an example of good command of shaitan. How sh how he is shaitan and he is giving good command. Like what? How how shaitan giving good commands? It's, uh, it's, it's possible. What do you mean possible? It's a shaitan. The guy is shaitan. How shaitan? He give co good command. I thought it, it, I thought I it, thought a prophet it, of God he should only accept command from his God not from shaitan but now we we based on your uh, 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 answer and the hadith Muhammad received command from shaitan and shaitan give him good command like what to kill the Christians no okay no, so what, give me that. okay give me an example of good command of shaitan because I want to practice it. I want to practice. I like to practice good command of shaitan. Like what? Uh, it just the, there's no examples. The, the, the point of the hadith is that he just can't. Shaitan can't tempt the prophet do bad things. No, so has, no, 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 no. The, the point, the point of the hadith, the point of the hadith that shaitan is commanding your prophet. This is what you learn. Shaitan he pretends to be good while he's bad, and that's in Christianity too. Guys, Shaitan, he pretend to be good, but he is bad. Mm. Yeah, and that's in Christianity too. And Satan, I, I'm, 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 you know to what? A, I am really surprised good. about your knowledge. You know Christianity very well. You know Islam very well. Anything we say to you, you say this is in Christianity very. You don't even know your religion. Don't tell me about Christianity. Listen, you mentioned to me that your prophet he told you to drink standing, sorry, sitting, and you said this is healthy. 
but your prophet drinks it into uh, standing too and we can show you your prophet he's he, he do oh, he piss sitting and he pisses standing too and i can show you and your prophet when he says don't drink standing that not because of anything except his superstition and stupidity because he think that shaitan will drink with you if he told him that it was because it's healthy that seventh century arabs would understand okay, my friend what, what, the, where, where it says where it says where it says down, that also has benefits. okay where it says that this is healthy where are you are getting this from I'm saying he doesn't have to say it's healthy because no, he have to say because then you are fabricating. He is not giving you the reason. He is not giving you a reason. So did he say this is the reason? He didn't say. So you are making things up, trying to make Muhammad as a prophet. Let me ask you: Do women have uh, testicles? No. Okay. How the Quran says that the man sperm coming from his backbone and the woman sperm coming from her top side of her ribs all right how is that can happen uh, well, how does that, does that does that say women have testicles yeah because it says that women she have a sperm coming from the from the location of the necklace in her in her chest how in the world the women she can do that according to science you are the one who's mentioned the word science not me according to science the sperm of the man does not come from the backbone and women don't have a sperm I believe anything the Quran says. So you can just try play, try playing with the verses and saying this is wrong or this is right. But whatever God said, I'm gonna believe in it. Okay, so you believe that uh, with my respect to your mother, your mother she have uh, sperm coming from her ribs and that will make you baby. You so believe in that? How does that mean that she has testicles? Well, uh, well, how how the sperm will? Okay, who is going to make the sperm? Her breast? Where the sperm will come from? You tell me. Testicles is the one who make uh, things happen. There's a special organs, the testicles and beside them, make this process happen for the man. The man only have a sperm, women don't have a sperm. This is number one. And the man's sperm is not coming from a bone. The Quran is wrong. And women have no sperm. But the Quran claim that both men and women have a sperm and the sperm of the women came in her reps. Do you believe in that? Or would Muhammad not have known that? I mean, well, would he not have known that uh, at his time? What does time? So, but your prophet is claiming that he received this is from Quran, from Allah. So, if this is a stupid, that means Muhammad is a liar. No, but you would say he's a false prophet. He's lying and he's saying false things. But, but what, how would he not? He, he would he would know like the truth of that about women and sperm and stuff. Th this is the truth now for you. The truth is, women have a sperm coming from her chest. This is the truth for you. I, I never read that verse, but if uh, the Quran says something, then it's then it's true. Ah, so what? So whatever the Quran says, the Quran says something is true. Okay, so women now, according to you, just because the Quran says so, uh, women they have uh, sperm, and the sperm is coming from the location of the necklace in her chest. So are you? you, you, you are you? you are you? Uh, on one uh, verse, but there's a bunch of other verses in the Quran. I'm not focusing on every verse. I'm open to any verse, but if one verse is a stupid, the rest are a stupid too. Well, the, the, the verse about the semen thing, uh, I don't know a lot about it. But, but my friend, uh, the verse, if this one is, if, if, about, uh, if, the, if this one, for example, if, the spring, okay, hold on. If this one, spring, that, that's one I can respond to when I. Which one? Which I one? See, which one you can respond to? Which one? What? Which one you can respond to? The sun setting in uh, some muddy water one. Okay, one, okay, uh, okay, res okay, okay. Respond to this one, uh, guys. He can respond to the sun setting in murky water. Respond. Go ahead. All right. For the verse, it talks about uh, what Dulkarnain saw. Uh huh. Uh, yeah, and you can't prove otherwise. Uh, okay, but who is the one is talking? No, I, I'm. I'm saying it. The, the verse said that he he saw the sun setting there. No problem. But who is the one is no. talking? Who is the one you are saying? The verse saying he saw the sun. Who is the one is talking? Allah. Okay, guys. If Allah he said that Alexander the Great he saw the sun sitting in murky water, that's mean Allah believed that Alexander the Great. This is what he saw, correct? Yeah, I understand. Okay. But there's a thing. Uh, okay. There's but read, but read, but read with me. Read with me. Read with me. Read with me. He says and. Until when he reached the setting place of the sun, he did not say 
right away just he found it Allah saying until he reached the sitting place of the Sun until now Alexander the Great is not there okay where we can find the sitting place of the Sun because according to the, the story here this guy is going on a journey long journey until he found the sitting place of the Sun so according to your God not according to Alexander the Great there's a place where the Sun set but the word in Arabic, uh, Maghrib, uh, is the place, the setting place of the sun, it can mean the setting time of the sun. And the word Wajida, it can mean... No, 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 no. In Arabic, it doesn't mean that because it says, Hatta idha balagha maghrib shams until he reached the area where the sun set. Yes, balagha, and the word... The, here is okay. not about timing only. It's about timing and location. And let me show you. Do you, your prophet, understand the Quran or not? Course. Okay, so if do you accept what your, your prophet explained this verse or you don't accept it? All right, wait, hold, let me just say one thing. You said the setting place on the word Belaga in uh, chapter 19, verse 7. The word Belaga was used and it was used to say a time. Mm -hmm. uh, you said, well, Belaga. Okay, here we go. Yep. Okay, here we go. So, verse number 90, the same chapter. Hatta either Belaga Matli Ashams, the same thing until he came. To the rising place of the sun. This is your Muslim translation. It's a place. But look, but Belaga means reaching a time, a reaching a time. No, you reaching a place. Does it place. say this? Does it say in your translation, right? The rising place of the sun. Does it say that? This is your Muslim translation, not mine. Okay, and uh, okay. Yeah, the, the so, so he reached what? So he reached what? He reached, he reached the rising place of the sun. This is a place. That's Okay, that where is that location where the sun, which is, there is no shelter upon them. So there is people who they are there. And according to the story, there's people who live there in that area. And they are hiding. They are fighting with people. They are called Gog and Magog. So Zulkarnain, he built a bridge between them. And Gog and Magog, according to your prophet, each one of them is 1,000 to 1 a human. Which means, if there is 7 billion a human being in this earth now, there is 7 billion, sorry, 7 trillion. Gog and Magog, where we can find those seven trillion behind the bridge or behind the dam? Is that somewhere. a thing? Where somewhere? Where? 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 No, where? 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 No, where? 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 Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I, okay, okay, I, I, okay. I say to you, do you agree with your prophet? Explain the verse, or you don't. But why are you changing topics? I'm not changing topic. We're talking about Mother Shams. Do you agree with your prophet? Explain. Do you agree with your prophet? Explain how, where, where you found this. Do you? We are not changing the topic. Do you accept your prophet? Explain the verse. Yes or no? Yes, I do. Okay, let us see what your prophet said, and then everybody will laugh. Here we go. Here we go. Your prophet said. I was sitting behind the messenger of Allah, SAW, shortwave FM radio, who was riding a donkey while he, the sun was setting. He asked, do you know where this set? Who is talking? Muhammad. Asking who? Abu Dhar. Do you know yes, where this set? I know the hadith. I know the hadith. Okay. And, uh, so, wh so what he said? He said, he, the, the, the guy, he said to him, I do not know the prophet uh, and Allah, and Allah knows best. He said, it's set in a spring of warm water. Okay. I know the hadith. I mm. wanted to say tell you something about it. The mm. hadith, it's sahih, but the, the words, it sets in a spring water. They were only narrated by a, one person, by four other, four or five other people. Mm. They they said the hadith, but they didn't they didn't include the words. Uh, okay. Uh, it's but but the hadith, but the hadith. Okay. Aster. Okay, my friend. So the hadith, the original hadith says what? Give me the original hadith. What it says? The, the, the original hadith talks about how the sun goes under Allah's throne and it asks Thank you. Guys, to rise okay, I will go with you. I will go with you. You are, you are watching Fifi videos, which is uh, proving to me that the, the, this guy is, is helping us. Listen, you just said the original video is the sun going under the throne of Allah, correct? Do you agree? That's the original one. All and right. The one with the and this warm and, and, water was okay. narrated by one First person, of all, so first of all, this, this hadith is correct, is approved, is authentic. Secondly, the hadith you just agreed with it, proving to me that Muhammad is a false prophet. Because the sun, okay. uh, hold on, you're a prophet explaining that the sun goes every day, how the sun move, right? The sun goes every day from point A to point B, correct? It's it's metaphorical when it says that Okay, it okay, take care, take care, take care. I don't have I, I don't have time for liars, you are a potato. You're a pro what metaphorical? 
Your prophet was sitting in the donkey. He saw the sun sitting. He said, do you know where the sun set? Do you know where it goes? This metaphorical now? Aren't you people ashamed? And he said, and this is the interpretation of a chapter 36, verse number 38, that the sun runs in its fixed course. And we can go right now and see the interpretation of your scholars. I mean, look how this metaphor. So the other hadith is the brother, not the original. But the hadith is total agreement with the Quran. And the Quran say clearly, until he arrived to the sunset place, he found it. He didn't say he thought. You see, the Muslim they claim that the Quran is a very good Arabic, top language. But look at the stupidity. If the Quran is a top Arabic, why he's saying he found it? One of the Abdul he said that don't call me again. I don't have time for kids. Why are you calling me? Why are you calling me? Why are you calling me? I don't. You see, either you show me approve of what you are saying or don't lie. Can you show me one person saying this metaphorical? Even Fifi, the one you mentioned his name, he said it's not metaphorical. Why you are lying? He hang up. Anything is embarrassing, it's metaphorical. You have to show me that this is metaphorical. Do you have any reference for that? Not a single Muslim agree with this. So anything looks stupid, they will say it is metaphorical or they will reject the hadith. Anything is stupid, we will play with it. For it is a shameful hadith. The Prophet being stupid, as simple as that. This is what happens when you follow a cult. Any Abdul? Who is Abdul want to show us that this is metaphorical? Well, Muhammad, he said that the sun goes every day. Who want to show us that? Anyone? Who want to show us that this is metaphorical? So you make things up just to escape the humiliation. You see, always you need to ask yourself why they are always regretting and refusing things they themselves they collected and even they themselves they agree upon. Like the potato Fifi in the previous video, uh, uh, he said, I made a video about him just two days ago in the Christian Prince account, different account, it's just additional backup account, where he said this hadith is daif about what? About the, the, the Dajin eating the, the the goat eating the Quran. and But the scholar is saying this is Sahih. Why the Muslims are so confused? Either they are confused or they are playing games just to defend. Defend blindly. Just let us defend. By lying, by fabricating, it doesn't matter. And here the same. Is this hadith when your prophet said that this is Aynun Hamiya? Is it anyone says that this is Da'if? Look what the Muslim says. Sahih al Isnad. Sahih in chain. There's nothing wrong with it. Perfectly fine. But it's a, it's a problem. It's a stupid. So we have to, de to deny it. All 
right? And you know, the funny thing that in the other hadith, it doesn't say that he said to him, uh, he, he, he said uh, the sun set in murky water. What if Muhammad, he said that to him twice, three times? Something, sometimes people, they repeat the same thing. Do you know where the sun set? Oh, you told me before where the sun set. Or maybe he says, oh, uh, okay, what, what, where? To learn more from the prophet. So is it possible that Muhammad he mentioned that twice or three times or four times? Muhammad he keep forgetting things, obviously. Muhammad is not healthy in his brain, obviously. Muhammad even he forget the Quran. Which against the Quran verses where Allah he says to Muhammad, we are going to recite your Quran and you will never forget. If Muhammad forget Quran, he will not forget that he mentioned to this person before where the sun said. So now he is repeating again. And now Muhammad forget the Quran, but the Muslim they say we recite the Quran by heart. That's mean they are more qualified than Muhammad himself. And how Muhammad and Muslim they recite the Quran and Allah he says, I will cause you to forget the Quran. And how Allah in the Quran says to Muhammad, I will give you Quran and you will never forget. It's an endless stupidity and contradiction. And look what Muhammad, look what he said, which I was caused to forget. Okay, who caused you to forget shaitan? If you ask the Muslims, who is the one who caused you to forget the Quran? The answer? Shaitan. So Muhammad is under the command of Shaitan. But isn't it the Quran says that Allah he said to Shaitan. You have no command over my followers, my good followers. You have command only over the criminals. Huh? And the funny, the Quran says that don't be the same as those who forgot Allah, so Allah, he forgot them too. When Muhammad, he forgot the Quran, he forgot Allah. Because this is the most priceless word ever he learned in his life. How you forget this? It is more important things to remember. In this, we have Muhammad Khan is calling us. Let us see what Muhammad he want. How are you, Mr. Muhammad? Hello. Yes, Muhammad. We are live on air. What do you like to say to us? Go ahead. Uh, yes, uh, this is Shiraz again. And uh, oh. if you remember, I spoke to you two weeks ago. All right. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I spoke to you last time. You hanged hang on me and... Uh, I didn't actually misbehave with you, but I don't know why you... Because obviously you're wasting my time. I hang up on people when I lose my patience with them. Go ahead. What do you want to say to us? Remind me. What last time yeah, you were saying? Just one. Yeah, yeah. I was saying to you that uh, men, uh, I was like you was telling me something and I was saying to you that uh, it's a much different story or maybe. But uh, the thing is this, that uh, yeah, I bought a Bible last week. Hmm. And uh, I'm studying, and uh, I'm studying with my uh, my cousins also, okay. one of my cousins as well. So what about the Quran now? You, wanna, you don't want to know about Islam anything? Um, no, it's not uh, about Quran. I'm studying a Bible. You're still, and, uh, you're still a Muslim? Do you still checking something? Do you still a Muslim? 
I am a Muslim. Okay, so why you are a Muslim? Why you are a Muslim? Okay, okay. Why you why you are a Muslim? Okay, why you are changing topic? Then, as long you are a Muslim, my friend, as long you are a Muslim, tell me about Islam. Why you are a Muslim? There is there is any proof make you believe Islam to be true? Because uh, I'm born in a Muslim family, and this is another question. Like you said I'm a Muslim. Yeah. There, so, are you a Muslim because you are born of a Muslim family and Islam is false, or because you believe Islam is true? I, I, I not come to any point of this because. Uh, I so you are saying to me you believe Islam is false. So you are saying to me you believe Islam is false, but you are not uh, afraid to say it live on air. Right now, I cannot say I'm studying Bible. I'm studying uh, Christian. My, my friend, uh, forget so, about. Okay, you, you study the Bible. Okay, thank you. I, I'm, I'm glad you are studying the Bible. But why you don't give me a clear answer? Do you believe Islam is a true religion or it's a false religion? Why it's hard to say? Do you see why I'm hanging up on I'm, I'm people? I hang up because I lose my patience. I have to repeat the same question one million times. I'm not a kid, and you are not a kid. Right. So if we are no, not willing, right now, if we are not willing to talk, where I cannot determine that Islam is a true religion or false religion. I'm okay, what I, what is I stopping you? you, you okay, you are you are confused. What is stop, stopping you? What is what is like you know when when I say I'm not sure I should do it or not. Okay, what is making you not sure? Uh, because the the more I'm uh, studying Bible mm -hmm. every day, uh, many things are coming to me. It's new and it's uh, I I'm I'm amazed. I'm I was told that it's changed and this the only Urdu Bible that I have found in Pakistan it's uh, King James version and all no other version or anything. So mm -hmm. uh, I'm studying. I'm comparing with other versions. It's almost the same thing. Mm -hmm. Nothing is changed. Nothing is different. Mm -hmm. And uh, have, what I've been told was false, lied uh, by many friends or uh, like uh, uh, scholars. So it's it's it, this is the fact that I was found. Okay. And um, <laughs> yes, I'm studying and I'm uh, every day I'm 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 educating myself. So I think I need one I need one more week or two more weeks to okay. get uh, my friend get more uh, questions for <laughs> oh. you, so I can send you by Skype and oh. uh, I want you to educate me more. No problem. Are you watching our channel always when I go live on air? Yes. Okay. Yes, every day. Every day I'm watching. So, what do, think, what, do think, what do you think? What do you what do you think? What do you think about the Muslim answers? About what I say? What 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 you learn from this? What is your conclusion? The conclusion is this: like right now, that uh, whoever coming and debating you, they are like <laughs> they are like they don't know what they are they are, they are saying. Exactly. They don't know what they are saying. Yeah. So, but why you think I, they are I, like this? Why they are doing this? Do, do you think there is those people really do not know what they are saying, or because they have no answer, so they they get uh, it's embarrassing, so they try to fabricate answers and it, it, it make them look stupid? What do you think? I think it's uh, I think it's fifty fifty because uh, as being a Pakistani Muslim and uh, I, what I've been told from all of my life, like fifty percent of this that. The all uh, Christians, they are saying it's totally false. Bible has been corrupted and changed and okay. they are telling wrong things. And the second thing is that we have been told, oh, we, we are the superior one. And uh, the all the other Christians and Hindus and other people, they are like uh, like uh, insects, so like, yeah. like not the same people. An an -am, yeah, they are animals. Yeah, kal an -am. <laughs> Of course, yes. yeah. that's the other thing as well. Yeah. Well, my friend, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm willing to help you, and uh, if, I, if I hang up in people because, you know, if you sit in my chair, you will find how much, uh, 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 like, it's, it is really too much stress because I hate stupidity. I, you know what? I, I hate it. So there's one thing in life I hate. I don't. I will never hate Muslims. I will never hate people. I will never hate a human being. But I hate stupidity. Yeah. Stupidity is the biggest disease in this earth, which is 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 more uh, dangerous than this Quran virus, cor Corona. So they call me, and I cannot find one person is mature to talk to me. I mean, is it is it really possible that in this earth there is not a single Muslim is mature? If you see all the videos, the Muslims when they try to refute us, it is hilarious. It's a comedy. It's a joke, and. Always, oh, this hadith is weak. 
Oh, let me tell you. This hadith is narrated by this guy, and this guy narrated by this guy, and this guy, but this guy is not equal to that guy. I mean, they try to find any solution. It is, it is very, very, very silly. And how in the world a human being can accept this? How in the world like a human being can believe in this? Like in the book is called Quran. Yes. I like to respond. Yeah, uh, the, the problem is this that in Pakistan that uh, if you question anything and if you ask anything from your scholars or from your mullah or like a local cleric or anybody, if they are unable to answer, they always try to uh, make it negative way, try to take a negative part out of it that you are you're trying to be a mushrik, you're trying to be a kuffar, like you, you, you are, you are, you, you cannot say like this, you cannot question like this. So if we people don't question, how do we learn? How do we know? So if we come to your channel and if we watch your videos and then it, like it's, it's, it's totally opposite, like, oh, this is something new to me. So this is the problem. Well, the problem is, my friend, we need more education and knowledge is 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 uh, is the is the good weapon, the armor of a human being. Today, we are people are dying because they cannot fight a virus, but the virus is very weak. But it's obviously a human is weaker. Why? Because we are short of knowledge. So knowledge, it, the Bible says, my people have been destroyed because of the lack of their knowledge, because of their ignorance. So ignorance is a disaster. It is the biggest illness, and a human being, so, you know, sadly, is a swimming in his ignorance. People like you are from Pakistan, a poor person who's worked all his life, hardly he can save three, four, four thousand dollars, which is a lot of money for him. Then he go, he spend ten thousand dollars to do Hajj in Saudi Arabia. So he make the Saudi rich, and he go back poor. Why? Because he wanna go and kiss a black stone, and this black stone, by kissing it or touching it, it's forgive and erase his sin. I mean, this is this is ignorance. Imagine how much money those poor Muslims are wasting. They can build the schools, they can build universities, they can build laboratories, they can build manufacturers, they can create jobs, they can open the eyes of the women, they can educate themselves. The money is gone to go around a stupid stone and kissing a stone. And then they build high building, they call it mosque, and the menorah is so high, it costs a lot of money. But yet the poor guy, he don't even have a roof for his own his own children. And he give from his pocket because he want to satisfy Allah. If he don't give donation, Allah will punish him. So he have to give donation. This is this is this is the disaster. Ignorance. I agree. I, I was just listening. So, uh, a Trump, a guy is a Trump. They now they have corona. A Trump today, as we speak, he is giving assistance to Yemen. But Yemen they say that's America. They to the Jews, they to the Christians, but even the Yemen is getting the, the, the uh, uh, assistance from, from America. Even Saudi Arabia, the most rich Islamic country, they have an assistant donation come from USA every year. Egypt, Syria, uh, uh, Turkey, I mean, all of them, but they have a lot of money to spend in the cult of Islam. But when it's come to science, education, they have no money. The money is gone. Building a mosque? Yeah. Can, the money comes from can, everywhere. Can, see, yeah, CP, is that possible? I I, I can. Uh, I need to go now because someone is coming. I no can't problem. talk much. Can Take I send it. you a, uh, some message uh, on your Skype so uh, you can answer or you can answer yeah, when you I, like? I, I, like you. I like to is answer by talking. I hate I hate text, to be honest with you. I'm not a text person. Just call me when I'm live on air. Okay. All right? Okay. Okay. Right. okay. I will definitely do okay. this. Thank Take, you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. You know, the, the, the Mohammedan, they collected $100 million to build a mosque in New York, in Manhattan. $100 million to build a mosque? And people are dying in Somalia? Why you have to, to build the, the mosque in the most expensive area in USA? Because it's a show off. They want to build the mosque there so everybody will see it. One hundred million dollar to build a, a building, small, tiny building. It's not a big, by the way. The price is not expensive because this is New York. So they have all this money to build a little, little tiny mosque, and nobody will go there. But they don't have money to the Somalian dying. 
And then they make program in TV. They say the Christians are feeding the Muslims and they convert them to Islam by giving them food. Every single is TV station run by Muslim, they claim the same claim that Muslims are leaving Islam because the Christians are feeding them. Okay, hold on. Let us say for the sake of argument, this is why you don't feed them. How come you have all the money for terrorism, which costs billions of dollars? How come you have the money, Saudi Arabia attacking Yemen, killing millions of Yemeni, and Yemeni killing millions of, 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 of people around them? You, you have money for war, but you don't have war, money for peace. Because this is a disgusting cult. Wherever Islam goes, peace run away. The only reason, by the way, Islamic countries are not killing each other right now in a massive size, it's America and the West. Take America away, you will see the Iranian Muslims and the Saudi and the Kuwaiti and the Bahraini and Qatari and Yemeni and blah, 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 and blah, 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 blah. They will eat each other alive. The only one is stopping them from eating each other is USA. This is the truth. If not George Bush, Saddam Hussein will eat all the Middle East. The Iraqi Muslim will have slaughter the rest of the Muslims who don't agree with them. Saddam Hussein will take over. And this is what they do for a living always. This is not something new. Since the time of Muhammad, when the last time we Arab in the Middle East we have peace, we never have one. Never. Why? Did you ask yourself why? Forget about Israel. Israel is a, is a country exist like 60 years ago. What is what, what, what about before? Never. Never, never have, have peace. They cannot live in peace. Peace is their enemy. And they blame America for, but before America, you kill each other. Even Muhammad family, he was killed by the Muslims. You believe it? The guy, he just died. He is their prophet. They slaughter his family. They slaughter them and they play with their head in like a bully ball. They put the heads of his 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 his, 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 his grandchildren in a stick. The Caliphate Uthman, the one who collected the Quran, they took the hair of his beard one by one, torturing him before they slaughter him and cut his head. And then after they cut his head, they play with the head in the street, and the kids play with it. And after that, they refuse to bury him with the Muslims. And after that, they dump him with the garbage. And then after that, people at night they came and they stole the body and they bury it somewhere. This is, this is Islam. It's not the Christians who killed the Caliphate. It is Muslims. It's not the Christians who killed the grandsons of Muhammad. It's not even the Jews. It was Muslims. And they have the same lifestyle still exists. Emirat is Emirat because of USA. The second USA says we take our protection, Iran will eat them in one day. Overnight. The Shia believe the Sunni are Kuffar. The Sunni believe the Shia are Kuffar. They should be slaughtered. And the only reason they are not killing each other because America. As simple as that. Afghanistan before Islam was a peaceful country. It was a Buddha country. Go and read the history of this country. They have a great history before Islam. Islam came. Look at, look at Afghanistan. Look what happened. Indian are the very, very old ancient nations with a lot of culture and knowledge. And look, Islam came and look at Pakistan. Uh, Salahuddin al Ayyubi, CP, don't talk about things you do not know. Okay, Salahuddin al Ayyubi. Your name is Salahuddin al Ayyubi. Who is Salahuddin? 
Why you Muslims are cream the Kurdish? You are slaughtering the Kurdish in north of Syria because they reject Islam and they don't want to be Muslims. But you kill yourself, Salah ad-Din Layyubi. Not only you kill the Kurdish, you will jihad. Erdogan, he called it the army of the Muhammadan. And what is their duty to kill the Muslim Kurdish? Don't talk about something you do not know. You were, we are not in Yemen, not you. No, we are in Yemen. We do not need to go to Yemen to see what's happening. In Yemen, the war in Yemen is Shia and Sunni. Stop being stupid and we got you busted. The Houthi is a sponsor by the Shia in Iran and the Sunni are a sponsor by Emirat, Bahrain and Saudi Arabia. And you are killing each other for the last five years. And you are dumb. Because after five years of killing each other, destroying the country, causing the hunger of millions, all kinds of diseases, when you will stop, you will never stop because you are a Muslim. Salah al-Din Ayyubi was a hero. Salah al-Din Ayyubi is a, is a scumbag. He raped Muslims. He kidnapped their women. He took them. He tortured the Arab. We, you know, we know who Salah al-Din Ayyubi. All your leaders are a fraud. I, I, I will give you an example. Khalid ibn Walid, the more, most famous, the Muslim, they call him the sword of Allah. He killed a man. He raped his wife and he cooked him and he ate him. He cooked a Muslim man. <laughs> All of you are a fraud. With no exception. And this is why the Muslim today, they are desperate to flee to Europe because they cannot find a good living in their countries. Everything is a fraud there. The police is a fraud, the judge is a fraud, the sheikh is a fraud, the prince is a fraud, the king is a fraud, the president is a fraud. everything is a fraud. The grocery store is a fraud. The butcher in the Middle East, the butchers, they kill dogs, they kill cats, and they put their meat with the beef. In the health center, which is supposedly from the government, they stamp the cow if it is healthy or not. If it's not healthy, they throw it in the garbage. The Muslim butchers, they came at night, they steal the garbage, which is dead animal, which is sick, is not allowed to sell it. It's not good for selling. They take it overnight and they sell it to the Muslims. You go to a Muslim grocery store, and I'm, I'm, by the way, this is what I mean. This is what uh, this is our experience. This is not. Uh, I'm not making things up. They put next to the register things which have nothing to do with you. You have to be aware. I'm telling you what about this. I'm talking about the Middle East, I'm, and some of them they do that in the in the in the USA too. As an example, they put a cigarette box next to the cashier. So you come and you start calculating. Uh, okay, take, 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 uh, fifty dollars. Now, if you check out, you will find that he added a cigarette box, but you don't you don't even smoke. You did not buy a cigarette. You go back. You say, hey, you charge me for a cigarette box. What cigarette box? Said, oh, you know what? Look at that. It's here. It's still here. I thought this is yours. Maybe it's other customer. He left it here. And they charge every customer walk by for the same cigarette box. But when it's come to the prior time, everybody want to pray on time. The beard is long. Holiness. We are holy. When it's come to the beer time, everybody drink beer. Everybody drink vodka. But in the back door. Prostitution. Homosexuality. You know, there's a video of a, of a doctor from Saudi Arabia from the official government army the, uh, hospital. She said 45% of the population of Jeddah, they have sexual relationship male to male. And they are family member.
go watch the video I'm just trying to remember the percentage I think she said 30 uh, 45 have you ever heard of 45 this is a huge this is almost the half of population population what do you mean 45 this is a disaster and this is the place where everybody on the in the prior time everybody stand to pray to Allah And we are reporting facts we are not making uh, accusation and the reason for that when you are living in a taboo then you do not know the person you do not know really his reality is give him a freedom then you will know if he is really want to pray or not so they force people and you know like somebody asked me why in the Middle East there's a huge number of uh, uh, homosexuality and lesbian very simple a girl she cannot go and see a boy she can't even have a coffee with him so what she do the only one who can come and sit in her place with her in her room is her friend who is a female or her cousin oh mom can she sleep in my with me in there she's a girl okay she's okay because she's a girl it's okay no problem and no those girls they are teenage and they have hormone and they start doing things which is not supposed to happen same for the male. The male, he cannot go and see a female. Who can go and visit him in his room? His cousin or his friend who is a male like him. And they have needs and they have sexual needs. And this is why homosexuality in the Middle East is so huge. Scary. But if you speak to them, they will say about the West, the evil West. The homosexuality in the West, and supposedly the West is ugly, but go and see what they have there. Drugs, prostitution, you name it. But nobody beat them with speaking about holiness. Everybody there is holy. Muhammad himself, he went to his own son and he flirted with the wife in her, in, her, in her house. When she is married to his own son. So what do you expect? And now I'm not saying all Muslims they do that for sure there's there's people who they are good equality and there's people who they are not but generally speaking this is how it is and for sure always there is exception they say something and they do something you know prostitution in the West brother go to Egypt there's, a, there's an actor, his name is Adil Imam. This guy, he always say things which is making fun of things happening in the society. So the judge, he said to him, after you learn that there is a belly dancer in the floor next to you or the top of floor of you, why you did not move from the building? <clears throat> the guy said, if every Egyptian in Egypt will move because there is a building, there is a belly dancer of the building, then the whole country will move out. <laughs> they go crazy because a church is built in a village but nobody go crazy for the night the clubs open 24 hours seven days a week billy dancing a drinking prostitution drugs open wide nobody get upset actually in those Islamic countries they do things which you will not even believe it You will not believe it. I will give you an idea. The most aggressive Muslims in the Middle East, they are the Egyptian Muslims, like Mimi Hijab. But this is Egypt. They bring you a naked woman in the stage. Look at this. I don't know if you can see it is even disgusting it's not even good, good to look at it it's mean you feel you will you feel like you want to vomit this is in the street and the sheikhs don't be, don't complain brother nobody complain brother but if somebody says something 
you want to open a church if you want to open a church in, in Egypt it's going to take you 20 25 years to get a license they make it impossible they heard that there is a group of Christians praying in a house the Muslim they surround it and they start throwing rocks and they set fire in the house and almost everybody get killed and then there is a woman I think get killed in this incident but look at this this is Egypt let me show you I'm trying to show you all of this is uh, I guess I'm searching for the wrong name <laughs> Let us see. Look at this. Do you see this? This is Egypt. This is Egypt. Look at this. Do you see this? Do you see this? This is in the street. This is not in a private place. In the street. They make decoration, they put rags in the street, and then people, they gather and look what they bring. Look at this. In the street. But the second you speak about religion, all of them, they are very religious. Forget about Egypt. Hmm? What about the rest? Is the rest is better no look at this those are not Egyptian those are the Arab the Egyptian are African look how the Arab look they bring women and those women they shake their bum they sleep in the floor in the top of each other doing homosexual act and nobody complain look at this look look how beautiful brother praise be to Allah very Islamic brother I mean can you do this can you you cannot can you do this brother for sure you cannot or oh, what about this can you or oh, what about this isn't it amazing But look at this guy where his look look at his eyes where his eyes is do you see where his eyes his eyes in here bum and he's saying praise be to Allah thank you Allah alhamdulillah look at this very very conservative countries brother very conservative they are very conservative look look and look what they do I mean they do things you will not believe it One of the disgusting things they do, like women she sleep and the other woman she sleep in the top of her and then the third woman she stop in the top and they start like doing <clears throat> Praise be to Allah. I believe in Allah now. I mean, look at this. Endless, endless videos. Endless. They report my videos, but nobody report those videos. They will never report them. Are you kidding me? Look, look. How many of you for this video? 3.9 million Muslim. How many? 3.9 million Muslim. Not a single one reported video, but my video they reported. My video is dangerous. This video is not dangerous. This video is halal. It's fun, brother. You see, this is what I told you. This is what you do. You see what they do? Two women in the top of each other. This is in public. Two women in the top of each other. So, brother, we have to praise Allah, brother. I mean, you cannot. Can you do this? You cannot do this. This is halal move. 
We are people who eat only halal food. We, you know, everything we do is halal. Halal. Can you do this? Look at this. Look at this fast movement. Do you, can you do this? You cannot do that. Even Superman cannot do that. Look how fast they move it, my brother. It's like they have electricity or something in there. Look at this. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, I'm a believer, brother. But a Christian making video proving Islam is wrong, well, Muslims will report the video, they will go crazy. But those videos, nobody report them. Millions of viewers. Nobody get offended. Uh, CP, do you watch those videos daily? Uh, my friend, uh, uh, not daily, to be honest with you. Depend when I am live, because I show people what you Muslim do. Brother, do you watch these videos daily? Are you saying to me, do I watch your sister daily? Hey, no, brother, I watch it occasionally. Are you happy now? And look, they are all conservative wearing hijab, brother. I mean, we have to be honest here. They are wearing hijab. They don't show their hair. I mean, come on. What do you want more? not a single one of them she is not wearing hijab i mean we have to be honest hijab is a must it's impossible brother very conservative look 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 how conservative yes she is bending over yes brother yes she is shaking it yes brother but she is wearing hijab So we have to agree that this is very good society and everything is fine and those Western are corrupt people, they have night club and they have boyfriend and girlfriend. In the Middle East we have Malaya. <laughs> and in these videos, guys, it's not like one video, two video. I can keep scrolling forever, like endless. You know what endless mean? Millions and millions and millions. Look, I I can keep scrolling forever, non-stop. Praise be to Allah. Guys, I have to go and watch the video now. I cannot continue, sorry. I mean, this is too much getting me, like uh, I'm in the mood now to watch. And uh, uh, and not, not only that, some of them, even they, they, when, they, when they dance, they say, Allah, 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 Allah. I'm not joking. Allah, 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 Allah. You are doing this and you are saying Allah, Allah, Allah. Yes, brother. Hmm. Why women kiss the feet of Jesus? This is fetish for you? Because you are expert, my friend, in the fetish things. That's why you think it's fetish. <laughs> expert in the fetish. Following the fetish prophet. Uh, just to show you how stupid you are. Women, she is kissing the feet of Jesus for she worship him. And you Muslim, you say to us, where Jesus? I am God. But a man and Muhammad kissing the belly of each other for what? Let me show you. As long as you are talking about fetish. Expert in fetish. Obviously, you watch a lot of porn, my friend. Huh? A woman, she kissed the feet of Jesus. The feet. You know what feet is? So she is worshipping him. But you're a prophet and a man getting naked, taking off their t-shirts, Kissing each other in their belly side, down their belly. For what reason, brother? Brother, why? You tell me, brother. Why a man? Look, look, look. The brother, the prophet came, he poked the man under his ribs with a stick. The man, he said, let me retaliate for you, prophet. And then he said, he took retaliation. He said, you are wearing a shirt, but I am not. So now we have one man is half naked. The Prophet said, then he raised his shirt. Like, what the heck? So now we have Muhammad is topless and the guy is topless. And then he raised his shirt and the man embraced him and began to kiss his side. Where, 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 where? 
The fact in Arabic doesn't say his side. It says gash hahu, which means down his stomach, from his stomach and down. Have you ever heard of a man kissing a man? Why a man would kiss a man? You see, if a brother saw a brother, I understand. He, you know, they hug each other, they kiss even each other in the in the in the in the cheek. But this is a guy; he's a prophet, and this is a guy; he's not even a family. And now, where the kissing is happening down their belly, and they are lifting their t-shirts. And hey, 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 prophet, you know, you are wearing t-shirt. I'm not wearing t-shirt. <laughs> I want to kiss you. And then, when he start kissing him, he said to him, "Don't stop. This is how I like it." Then he said, "Brother, this is how. This is what I wanted. I swear by Allah, this is what I wanted. <laughs> I, this is what I want. Don't stop. Don't stop. Right there. Don't stop." And you are talking about fetish, you idiot. You're talking to Christian Prince. So you brought him humiliation for your prophet when we were talking about something else. Good for you. I'm so proud of you. Hmm? And, and now they will say to you, this is weak, brother. You know, it's not weak. This is sahih. This is how I like it. Oh, brother, don't stop. Right there, brother. Don't don't stop. Exactly there, brother. This is what I wanted. What is this? And you are talking about fetish, my friend. Shame on you. Anyway, guys, I think we have enough for today. Don't forget to download this video because we will take it down very soon. And actually, all the previous videos in the last few days, we will take it down. So if you do not download them, Please download them for we are going to take them down and tomorrow we will be in the quality of life as you see the account there in front of you on the screen so if you like to join us in the morning quality of life m27 is going to be our next broadcast so if you usually in the weekend i go there only so if you don't see me in the weekend here that's mean i am there so you better subscribe and remember there we don't talk about islam there we don't talk about garbage i mean we have enough garbage of muhammad here so this one is the dirty channel there is different story different level of talk so join us if you like to be with us and uh, I, I hope today we will learn something good and those who the muslims who call me feel free to download my video and if you are brave post it in your channel if you are proud about what you said to me when you call me prove it prove that your answers was good by downloading my videos posting them in their channels get them busted get me busted and actually, I like it when Muslims, they try to refute me because that will bring more Muslims and more Muslims will leave Islam. It's always worked for our benefit. Some people, they say, why don't report those Muslims? They are making videos and playing your video. Never do that. It is for our benefit that they do what they are doing. More Muslims will come and more Muslims will learn and more Muslims will leave Islam. They think they are fighting us, the fact they are helping us. I really appreciate them. Any Muslim who fight me, he is helping me. It is the best way to invite people out of this cult, by the help of the Muslims. Especially, we use their answers to expose Islam. So, I want to say thank you. Again, if you want to join us tomorrow, every weekend we go live, Friday, Saturday, Sunday usually in the quality of life m27 and actually let me find you the link so you guys can go and join us for the video tomorrow <clears throat> uh, let me grab the link all right this is the link so if you like to join us just click there and subscribe all right until we see you again and again Please download the video. I will I will keep it only maybe for an hour or two and then I will take it down. So don't be surprised why it's gone. Download it, put it in your in your channel, and then I will update my channel from my side. Thank you very much, guys, for being here. May the Lord bless you. And always we are victorious, not because of a Christian prince, not because of anyone. We are victorious only for the Lord. He is our supporter. If the Lord is with me, who could be against me? Don't fear the one who killed the body, the one who killed the, the flesh. Fear the one who killed the soul. The one who will send you to hell.
We fear no one who will kill the body, who will kill my flesh. Always be victorious with him. And this is why they are losers. The more they defend, the more they help us. And the more we are in victory. And the more Muslims leave Islam. Thank you. May the Lord bless you. And we'll see you soon again. Tomorrow, God is willing. Christ is Lord. And Islam is false. See you.